How's it going, folks? I am Graham Boyd, Xbox Live's AC Bongos, and welcome to a very, very special Xbox Live game with fame. We're going to be playing Forza Horizon 3 today, which, of course, as you know, is a game about having fun in amazing cars in beautiful surroundings with your friends. So who better to join us than the team from the Grand Tour? Yeah, I'm delighted to see. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know where I'm looking, but there. Yeah. Oh, there. All over and the place. There. We're on the internet. It doesn't exactly. matter. So, of course, we've got Jeremy Clarkson, we've got James May, and we've got Richard Hammond <laughs> Who's with in us the in the studio. Yeah, I wasn't uh, concentrating. I wanted, no, that's to, I wanted to have a look Look, I here. keep telling you, Forza Horizon 3, you can yeah, go wherever you want I've, to go. I wanted to go there. Look, I you're still that. racking up points. I meant that. I meant <laughs> that. That's what I wanted to do now. Richard, yeah. I thought you, you'd had practice at this in Los Angeles. Mm, can I, I just say, first of all, right, yes. I'm, I'm impressed that you three have already had a go of this in the last sort of 45 minutes before we came on stream. I was a bit worried that... <laughs> That wasn't good timing for what I'm about to say. <laughs> no, it was perfect. It was absolutely... <laughs> I was, you were just about to say how good we are, but Richard Hammond drove our really on. rather good Sweet. mission <laughs> into a tree. No, I think, um, I think we'll have some good gameplay here. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to go through a lot of challenges. We've got bucket list challenges. We've got a rivals mode specifically for the Grand Tour that you'll be able to play yourself. Have I won? Uh, you are winning. I'm just, I'm just noodling about it. Yeah, it's it's on the road. There's the a road there. I mean, yeah, no, slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm off it. I'm off it. No, I'm back on you it. Saved it. Look now, at that. There you are. There you go. Right. Now, enjoy, oh, now you're oh. off the road. Hang on. Do you, no, turn right here. Turn right here. Turn you're right here. Turn pressure. right here. <laughs> there you go. It's an amazing yeah. sat now. Right, let me just get a couple of things in first. Okay, so obviously we're playing Forza Horizon 3. As you can see, Richard's in the driving seat first. We're going to get Richard going on a on a bucket list challenge soon in a Mazda MX-5, which I know is a car very close to your, your own is. heart. Yes. Yeah, and also close to some statues, often as well. Um, we are going to go through the Grand Tour Rivals event, which is live on Xbox Live now. If you've got Forza Horizon 3, you'll be able to go in there and take part. Uh, and if you're watching on Beam and, tw and Twitch, thank you very much for joining us, first of all. You can also send in your comments and your questions to the team here. James we'll read them out ridiculous. ridiculous. Sorry, James <laughs> May has just <laughs> reversed faster than I've ever seen him go anywhere. Well, which is, where's the break? I've oh, seen James right. play right. computer game. You want to look there, but yeah. then you look here. Yeah. <laughs> Was it, why have you grown exactly the same beard as Hammond? Because I admire him so much. Yeah, I don't And you drive him. exactly the same motorcycles? No. No, no. You do. You both, you're an orange one and you, they're, they're the same, those little they're Vespers. Just... Oh, yeah. No, they're not the no, same. No, mine's a well, 300, his is a 125. Well, oh. they're the same. No, I don't. They're yeah. motorcycles. You both drive motorcycles. Well, you were supposed to go left there. <laughs> no. Don't worry about that. I decided cars, he fine. was. All damage is cosmetic. We're all good. Let's watch out for trains, because that can often end badly. Yep. Um, the little beardy club. Oh, and there's one fact. other thing as well. Sorry. Oh, if, you're, if you so. uh, are on Xbox Live, you can send a friend request to the Game With Fame uh, gamer tag, and you might actually turn up in the game as well. You're playing with us or as a drive avatar. You guys know all about that. So when you send a friend request, it's yeah. not like a friend arrives at your door. Yeah, right? they knock on the door there. Hello. There's a queue outside I'll be already. Your yeah, it's a good way of making friends. It's well, they've done well to yet. find it because it took me plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, it's Great. a tricky one. So Bang! The James May's crashed into the back of a Mazda 3. Yep. You, yeah, but it was where well, you'd been pressing brakes until you had the accident, then he claimed he didn't nice know where the brakes were. They, they were just going out for a picnic. And he was going yeah. along, brake, brake, brake. Had an accident. Oh, where are the brakes? Right, we should we should start here. Before we get into the bucket list challenge, I do want to quiz you on your, your gaming credentials, first of all. Yeah. Very bad. And I actually yep. see we've had our first question in from Twitch. It's from MythMath. Hello, you guys Mythmath. Know. Uh, so, do you play video games no. yourselves? Is it a big part of your life? You do. I do. Oh. I play, you do. You, you kill things. What do you play, things? James? Come on, let's hear some I only, I Snakes play, and ladders. Yes, yeah, Scrabble, draft. Boggle, <laughs> Draft, and Whitley. Come on, James, I'd love to hear. Well, yeah. are you going to let me speak or are you just going to tell me? I play Beep. Sky Gambler's Beep. Air Compact Beep. is when I play a Beep. bit. Beep. Beep. Sky Gambler's, it's an Beep. internet... Beep. No, I feel video games, game. not downloaded little app things. No, it's, not. it's a video game on the net that you play against other people from around the world. Do you play that, really? Yeah. Do you? I do, yeah. Do you have a place what's, your, what's your game you name? Around the what's world? your game name? James. Fluffy. Yeah. It's yeah. Fluffy. It's was fluffy, James not it? taken already? Yeah. Well, it's James. Yeah, of course he was. He hasn't. Yeah. He's never played a video game in his life, as we can see here. I don't know. That was a well, I do, I do quite like. Answer. I do quite like video games. I've got all the Call of Duty ones, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, what yeah, is it about that you like? You like killing people. Unadulterated <laughs> violence, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, I do like choosing my weapons. I always go for the largest possible Hammer. machine gun. Yeah. Well, no, because you can always... Some people go for those very fast-firing, oh. you know, the fast-firing thing. No, 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 no. Get the big squad automatic Boy weapons him. and run around. And right. 
And I, I mean, I've motor racing games, obviously. I've got the other one. Not the one. You know the one I mean. Well, um, yeah, yet. Yeah, Grand Turismo. So That's I a team job. Which way do I go? I actually once did a thing on the old show oh, when I, I did a tie, set a time up at Laguna Seca. All right. And then went and did it yes. for real in the same car on the actual track. And that would be a useful anecdote if I could remember where I, I was faster. I can't remember how it worked either. I can't either. remember whether I was faster in the real car or faster around the track. I think I was faster in the real car. Right, Somebody okay. can probably say, no, you weren't. I remember seeing that. But I think I was faster in the actual NS... Uh, I think it was an NSX. Right, OK. Video games for me are a bit like football. I didn't follow them as a kid. I didn't do it as a kid, so I sort of got left behind. We didn't behind have them as a kid. Well, no, we did. What, video games? Do, do, yeah, there do, was that, yeah. Yes, you won't remember that, but that was, that was tennis. Hey, that's very kind of you to say. Uh, I think you were addressing me there. No, I was the audience. Oh. <laughs> you, you remember? I know, you suckered me in there. Yeah, you had hair. Then. I do. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to have a really I, good... I never did, so I... I, 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 I had a like really I good video game, which you were in a jet fighter, actually flying quite high, which has made it quite good, and you could swoop down and bomb things on the ground. I can't remember what that one was called. It was a single-player game that was the only drawback There was to a it. Star Wars okay. one, one on a media computer where you went... And the oh, Bond right, ones. Yeah, you remember yeah. the early Bond ones? I used to yeah. love those from EA. Goldeneye, and things like that. Yeah, they oh, were that fantastic. Way but tell me about driving games. I mean, it, obviously, you know... All about cars no, but what's and all incredible, about driving. What's incredible about these driving games is just before everybody tuned in, we had 10 minutes practice in a Lamborghini. And I said, no, no, forget it. These two, contrary to James's claims that he does, they don't do this. I said, it, it I does don't make, do this now. I'm not it does make a huge difference. Yeah. No, you, you, I, really, you and I can feel straight away. You can, yeah, yeah, there yeah. is a huge that difference was between... Because the temptation is always to go for you know, the most exciting and fast and supercar. But actually, if you want to learn the game, you've got to start... That's why we started off in a GTR, because... Like real life, these, what you yeah. really want is a hot hatch, isn't it? it yeah, you should start off with a hot hatch. And what's unbelievable, I remember driving a Dodge Viper in a, in a video game. It felt just like a Dodge Viper. Oh, Unmanageable. was a lot easier. The unmanageable, yes. difficult, <laughs> tail-happy. Yep. It's remarkable how they do actually get... Why did he do that? ...some of the characteristics um, from real cars that show through on this, because we're one of the very only three people in the world who don't live in the Middle East, who have actually driven most of the cars that you'll encounter mm. on this. And you can actually genuinely yeah. feel the difference, and they are genuinely, they do handle like the the cars that, uh, for real. Yeah, there are so characteristics that are recognised. Uh, no, Let me no. set up, uh, I want to get going on this bucket list, if you don't mind, Jeremy. I want to yeah. get... And we can set the... Jeremy gets um, his look on his face with his face. See, we were laughing at James, uh, and there's a bit of orangutan action there. There's a look of absolute <laughs> contentedness. I know, he so certainly hasn't given me the controller, so... You'll have to fight him for it. This is, this is a man on a mission. I did find it interesting that we started off, before we started the stream, we, were, we had a Centenario set up, right? And the reason we went with the Lamborghini Centenario is the cover car of Forza Rising yep. 3, OK? And it's obviously incredible. It's quite a device, yeah. But you guys suggested the 2017 Nissan GTR. Yeah. Now, yeah. It's it's a it's an incredibly fast car, it's but it's think. also easy to drive, right? Yeah. I, think I mean, it's, it's going to be, so it's gonna be less tail happy and screwy. Yes. And you're clearly feeling the difference <clears throat> in the game, right? Yeah, and that's why he's hit that I'll post. Just hit that yeah. post. And well, then set up your bucket list. Right. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> so, Whatever a bucket list is. Well, the bucket list challenges in Forza Horizon Three are essentially the things you want <clears throat> to do in cars before what you do we die, right? Well, you oh, set it up, and I'll read the next question from. Can't read it. Who oh, yeah. fifty three? What do you go. think is the greatest car ever produced? We we are we we disagree on that. I think it's the Lexus LFA. Greatest car ever. <laughs> I keep changing my mind about that. Sometimes it's Ferrari four five eight. Sometimes it's that GTR actually. I have moments with that Lamborghini Sestero that I drove. That was superb. And at, at the time when the first Zonda came out, but then yeah, that was these, really these things only have a context, don't yeah, they? Yeah, no. But the LFA, I still think if I got into one tomorrow, I'd still think. Not because it was the best car, because it, it had a very small fuel tank and the seatbelts impossible to put on. But the engine was simply unbelievable. Good car to follow, makes an amazing noise. Why are you playing the game now? What, so we just come here to well, sit in to your be sitting honest, room and watch thought, you play this game? Yeah, I should have given this back to you. I thought I would do a good job of getting us to the venue yeah, quickly, but I ended up driving behind everyone's back garden. Yeah, so you're the expert. Tree, worrying. car, yeah, barrier. I've got it now, I've got it now. Right. It. Would you like me to get you there? <laughs> oh, he's on it. He's on the fire. Look at this. Uh, this is me. If you're good. watching and you can see on screen what's happening, it's me. You can't see the controller. <laughs> can see what's I'm happening? doing this. We were talking about yeah. video games there, yeah, right? It's me. I'll just get around this hole. What were you saying? Let's I'll just say that you're going to create it. a grand tour of video game. Mm -hmm. What would that look like? I thought it would have a lot of amazing mm -hmm. scenery in it. Uh, that's true. Uh, that's yeah. very true. It wouldn't oh, always work. <laughs> yeah, it's important. Um, Here we are. How does You'd also be able to get a book delivered the next day on it. <laughs> nice. Um, I, I, I have no idea because, I mean, 
you'd have to get oh, people who could set those things up. Um, Would you go for a driving game? Yeah, because yeah. you've done a lot of different things games. for the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what I no, can't... No, kickboxing. Well, <laughs> no, <driving laughs> well, why game. not? With guns on the side. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's a bit like, what were those ones I really, really used to enjoy with Yoshi and the dragon, when you could shoot uh, toadstools yeah. at people and they yes. spun around? Super Mario. Mario. Super yeah. Mario. They were fantastically yeah, they were good. good fun. Yeah. And I often wonder why we don't have these driving games, but with guns on the side, combine Call of Duty with... Yeah, you you wonder why you don't have guns on the side of your car in real life as well. That's different. Well, I mean, tell me more here, because I think you're onto something, actually. Uh, right. I am. We well, should get started on this. Right, yeah. Richard, I'm going to hand this over to you, right? So th this is I shall call this it is a bucket list challenge. <laughs> the, what, your car? No. The, um, <laughs> the aim here is to get as many skill points as you can in right. 2 minutes 30, right? right? And you'll rack up skill points by doing exciting driving, okay? So drifts, what? donuts, burnouts, jumps. What, in just like an area? Absolutely, you're in a building site, right? You can knock a lot of stuff over, a scaffolding. Yeah, any room. Is it like a gym car well, type This thing. is your practice, look. All right. We're doing it live. When, when does it start? Now, go! I've forgotten which one accelerates. That the one, one, that no, one. the one yeah. on the left. No, it doesn't. That makes it reverse. So drive as so where, where extravagantly as possible. Where can I go? Anywhere. Knock over all the, all the fences, um, right, all the scaffolding. So I just got this. Oh, I want to go in there. Do you, yeah. get, do you get points for knocking over the fences? Absolutely. I wanted yeah. to stop Anything like so that. Far, I haven't gone anywhere. Literally, right, there so we go. Richard I'm Hammond. 275 points underway. on the board. Except That's a good start. Fantastic. I want to go through that building on the right. <laughs> if you go then, it's right okay, there. Yeah. I'm trying. It I'm going. Still, it's it's easy, on wall, that, easy on that throw. I'm so not. Now, actually, this is a, the through. foundations of a skyscraper yep, as well. So there's, so there's some ramps you can get up. Bit of a jump there. Handbrake action. Hit that scaffolding on the side. Massive slide backwards. And if you've got any tips for Richard in the chat, stick them in there. I can read them out I'm as gonna, well. I'm gonna donut so there are two people watching this then. Oh, there's a lot more. The than worst two car ever built, FSO Polonaise, or oh, possibly the Kia. No, I didn't want no, it's, the, it's, the, it's the Lexus SUV. Oh, the S430. I've forgotten about the. Why am I yes, still here? It's official, actually. It is officially the Lexus SC430. Weird that the best car and the worst car are both Lexuses. Jump. Deliberate How jump. did you know there wasn't a sheer drop? I didn't. I had. Oh, there is one. That's his speciality, as we discovered in Namibia. Yeah, the digger, missed the digger. Yeah, you don't get any points for hitting the digger. This is that big pond. That was quite good. Once you've got it donating, it does not want to undonate, does it? Yeah, yeah you remember, remember if you tap A as well, you get the handbrake going, which might I help did, you I just did. get I was those. Jump. I was the big difference as well between video games and real cars is that... It doesn't that, hurt. Well, it's not hurting <laughs> so much. It's the, if we were doing this in a real car, it would now be broken. It would. Well, there you go. Well, well, well you can, I mean, you can turn on... Uh, actual damage in here. We've got it on cosmetic. Well, I don't so, know, you know, really get just to make the stream smoother. Can... Not because we didn't have faith in you guys yeah. that you wouldn't smash yeah. it into trees and all that yeah. sort of stuff. But. So let's talk about the grand tour of the show itself. I mean, we're about sort of six, seven episodes Nine. in. Nine. Nine, Nine episodes yeah. in. Nine. Well, it depends. Yeah. I've just been arguing with Amazon. They claim we're on eight, but we're not. We're on nine because yeah, they split. Night was not. Exactly. And the special was two. It the says nine. Two, exactly. Yeah. No, exactly. Yes. We we know that we've just had target two fixation. Years. That happened then. Sorry, and then. Oh, I apologise. No, we're on we're on nine. We just finished. That was in, in from Germany. Yeah. With lots of four different films in it. We haven't done four different films before. Um, in, in one show, so that was quite good because often it just ends up with being one. So yeah. I'm being distracted by Richard Hammond <laughs> <laughs> just driving like a spanner. Basically, is it normal to do that? Oh, yeah. okay. it is. It's a little bit of a fail. Well, let's just see. Well, let's do you see. Wanna, James, let's have another go. James, do you want to well, go again no, no, or do you want to pass it on? Go James, James, you want to go? Set the standard. So if you press the green button, James, you can get straight you back throw. in. Yep. Oh, but you're in a rocky place with a dog. It's it could be half a dog. A little Careful. dingo, I think. Yeah, yeah, so Stuttgart is the Stuttgart show that's gone live today, got, right? We've got two weeks you, coming James? up where we're in Scotland, both yeah, weeks. Fantastic. We that was yeah, tremendous. Up in was it? Yeah. it was good, actually. Good it was very good. good fun. On the banks of the Ness, I hear? It, right on the banks of the Ness, yeah, up near Inverness. Mm. So that was good. And then finish up in Ab Ab Dubai. Start with the sort of day, yeah. um, For the final one. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been... We're very grateful to everyone for saying they like it. Here we are. Because yeah. it was a huge risk. But it's kind of, it's kind of... You're supposed to hit things. No, you're no, not, you're not yeah, actually. You no, points. you're not. So, you don't get points well, for hitting it, things. I it's, thought you did. No, it's... You do. It's you, you actually do. But skill is, chain, you get you. ten. No, it's the, just... The, the trick is to know which ones you can hit and go through well, and which ones are... the target is 18,000 skill points and yeah. I got 600. See, go, head up that ramp and get onto the top and then you can pull off a massive jump out the other side. Can I go there from the other side? Yeah, go right, 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 right. There you go. So the thing that strikes me as I've been watching it is obviously you're having an absolute ton of fun. 
putting it together. Yeah. Yes. What, what has been the most gen for you, even if it's behind the scenes, what has been the most genuinely fun location or part or challenge that you've done in the show so far? The Grand Tour. I think I Is think it? Italy was pretty good. Yeah, that was, that was. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good one. Oh, that's, that was ultimate. That is what you meant. Five hundred. Yeah. Exactly. I think for me, I think I enjoyed making the one where we drove across Italy because I thought I thought that was I took. I rather enjoy it when a story is coming together, and that story was fantastic. When James and I were trying to enjoy the culture, music, and so on of Italy, and Hammond turned up in a Hellcat yeah. and was, you know, being. And it just all suited the Hammond. cars. It, it suited the cars. It suited us. Italy is a great place to film. We ate well. We drank well. Um, it was, it was just a great thing to film. Mm -hmm. Namibia okay. was Namibia was surprisingly difficult, much more difficult than Whee! I thought it was going to be. Much colder yeah. than expected. And much colder, colder than I thought right. it was going to be. And the roads. We just had 700 miles or something, I think it was about 700 miles, on washboarded roads. And that, if you're Australians watching, they are just a killer. They kill cars. But it was, um, I think Italy, what was yours? Well, I, to be honest, the best bit for me was in the Namibian desert when I was left behind because I got stuck on the hill and then I was driving on my own through the sunset. And it is the most spectacular thing possibly I've ever done of anything, let alone driving in a car. It was just breathtaking. Those absolutely dunes are fantastic. huge in Namibia. It looked absolutely incredible, it's it's especially in 4K as it's well. You're looking at these views. When you draw a desert then, as a kid, I also have to say, the opening, the opening oh, that was six over. minutes was also <laughs> fairly spectacular. That was incredible. Mm. Yeah, that was out of You know, funnily way. enough, I remember watching that and thinking that this game is actually about m music festivals that are themed around cars. Yeah. Set in Australia, and previously it's been set in you know northern Italy, south of France, etc. The the intro to the Grand Tour just made me immediately think of Forza Horizon. You've got that coming together of people, of yeah, cars, yeah, yeah, of the yeah. planes flying across <clears> the top, and that sort of celebration. As a thing to make, it was amazing to see you know our team, our crew that we know very well. Yeah. Did see them working on something brand spankers and that exciting and on that scale. Yeah. It's just astonishing. Fantastic. Right. I'm really sorry. I've well, been told we time. need to good. move on to the next, good, good, next good. challenge. Oh, no, and you were going to be sorry. brilliant. James well, I usually am. So hold on, so I'm going to have to come out of this. Have we ever done anything where I wasn't brilliant? I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, driving, so. talking, thinking, using tools. Shutting up. Dressing. <laughs> um, I mean, other than those, beyond that. No, I, most The number of, the, of times in my life I've seen you whizzing past, out of control in something, mm. shouting, God, I'm brilliant at this as well. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely Well, one of the enormous. questions we had come in was, uh, who out of you is the best at video games? Well, um, since we don't know how good Hammond, maybe they are the best. Maybe it's a hidden talent they didn't know they had. Sleeper. All right, so I'm going to set this up. Uh, and there's another question here from Nero Maxim, which kind of leads on from what we were talking about, the show itself. Is there a particular location that you would still love to go to and shoot at? I mean, you've covered that some amazing places been. that you haven't been to the so moon. far yet. <clears throat> the moon. I'd like to do the, the reduced gravity driving. I think that would be fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, it's quite okay, the moon. Yeah, it's quite tricky. On Earth, <laughs> Not including the sea, because the Mariana Trench also springs to mind. Yeah, but it's impractical. It's impractical, because it would squash the car to yes, the size yes, of a Brussels sprout. And you'd get really wet. You'd get wet. And then you'd be even, so you'd be like a pea. Yeah, the, even I'd more be like a pea. I'd be like something you hang from the, the mirror. Exactly. So, in terms of. There's a place in Malaysia or I Borneo. Or Malaysia. No, but there was. There. In, in flight magazines are great because they would just show you a picture of something. Oh. I remember thinking, you've got to love to drive across that. I'm sure environmentalists can't drive across that, but of course you can. Man! Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Um, You're a mess. So that's yeah. somewhere you want to go. Okay. Yeah, somewhere I haven't been where I want to go. I mean, we've been to a hell of a lot of places, yeah. let's be honest. And were some of the places you went to, were they, were they, all, were they on that kind of list of I'd love to go there and Iceland drive? always. If, if people Iceland. haven't been to Iceland... It always delivers. It's always. Yeah. Right. You do go to Iceland and go, no, don't be silly. Take in a lot of a, money. In such a yeah. small area yeah. as well, you'll now. see so many... Actually, it's not as bad as it was, is it? But no, this but it's... me um, driving if you're watching, this is me driving. <laughs> no, it's... Um, Iceland it. always gives good scenery. Um, Africa... Yeah. Large, yeah, large always... chunks of Africa are remarkable. Oh, You've got to have a big crash into that Ferrari. That wasn't my fault. It wasn't. He definitely cut across. Who was driving? Thank you. Who was driving your car? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, if that was an insurance claim, I think the insurance company would back me up. Could I just ask? Are you just mm -hmm. taking us to the next location? Yes. That seems to be the hardest bit of the game. I'm essentially Kamchatka. an Uber driver at the moment. I haven't been to the Kamchatka Peninsula, and I think I came on the way here. Did you? <laughs> on your little orange 300 CC? Yeah. yeah. 
Um, Kamchatka Peninsula. But in... you, there's a man who doesn't play risk. Um, it's Between the... Russia and Alaska. Exactly. Yes. That's exactly. That's Constantly exactly what it is. Driving. Sorry. <laughs> no, Kamchatka <laughs> Peninsula. I think I think that's going to, would be fairly amazing. Where should we go? Someone saying there, celebrity guest you always wanted for your show but never got. Oh. Dead or alive, Steve McQueen springs to mind. Yeah, just, it sprung yeah, to my mind. Cool. There you go, Steve McQueen is the correct answer. Dead or alive is an appropriate way of asking <clears throat> you, considering celebrity brain crash. What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, dead or dead. So, this is a showcase event, right? And this is, again, it reminds me of the things you do in the Grand Tour, in that it is what, a kind of is that the the ridiculous... Is that like, like the keck Kind of, yeah. Are we in mm. Australia? You're in Australia, right? Oh, so Australia, right? Oh, so you're going to be in this there. trophy truck here, right? I'm in a, I'm in a pick... Oh, it's a pickup truck. You're going to race... You two get the Datsun. I can't go on one of those power boats. Well, you're going to race against them. I'm good in power boats. So, have you pressed green? Now. So you're going to be racing oh. against those speedboats. And this is, so this is one of the, like, the showpiece events of the Forza Rising oh, Festival. Right. And they're always brilliant to play in the game because it's, it's oh. something a bit mad well, they've got in a crazy car. Well, they, they're pretty yeah, well, good I'm off the driving, line, but don't worry. There's no other word, a pickup truck. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it says who you can on the front. It must be Ken Blocker. Here is another good oh, question. Oh, you're in the water. Actually, first of all, before... Well, this is just be in the water. Yeah, well, Nibidia, there, there, there. Mm. Namibia always... Oh, yeah, no, you need to stick on the blue. I think you're all right if you if you get a well, I know, I'd like, I, as you know, I'm a man who enjoys a boat. Yeah, and but you're I'm, in a car. Right, it's okay, it's mm. taking you back to the checkpoint, you're what? fine. Right. Because you're in the car! Don't you've worry, you can still make so up. Wrong. You can still I'm going make to, don't you worry. So you need to stick between those green checkpoints. You were trying to get a question out of there. I know. I know. Yeah, Namibia yeah. seemed like a really interesting choice to me. Was that, you know, was that something, again, you really wanted to do? The or Namib was it... Desert was mine. There's only so many places in the world you can go that are genuinely wild and properly remote. Mm. I mean, we're asked, oh, do you really can? <laughs> well, what else are you going to do? Yeah, uh, I go, look, like this a, is ah, me, this is me. Majestic. Turns out I'm good at that as well. Hitting bushes in a truck. Were there points where you regretted it, though? No. No, not in the oh, desert. Well, it was a bit chilly in the first morning. Yeah, yeah it genuinely. was extremely cold. We really thought it would be hot there. We're not right. strangers to death. Was it hot during the day, though? Yeah. No, 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 no not, 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 not at all. extremes? No, no, on the coast, it's absolutely freezing all the time. Right. But it's... we're no strangers to deserts, and oh. people have said it gets cold at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over the world. Don't be ridiculous. Next morning, I mean, just really, yeah. you needed to dress as if for a very wintry day here. It was disappointing. Oh, now where we're going. England is. You seem to be drawn, yeah. to Jeremy, to the, the water. Later on. Left, go left. It okay. looked incredibly extreme. As, as your exoskeleton recovered, James, because you were oh, getting a, a, your skeleton. Oh, yeah. oh my skeleton. Oh, because you were getting a hell of a shake. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Was the car that suffered mainly because right. it fell off and then eventually it showered me in petrol. One was of the cars was clearly a lot point. better than the other two, and it was um, mine. It was mine. <laughs> oh, mine. <laughs> well, the end. It was parked near a V8 that gave you how much? Oh, constant. Mine made the best noise. Well, well, when it was. At least I had a decent range though. That was the best thing. No, I can't think. I just literally can't see a thing, single thing that was wrong with mine. It was yeah, when it sounded worked, when... No, not sounded, it had a V8 motor. It did, it where's it go? I don't know where it goes, this is my Keep problem. Keep going straight, you're fine. You want to go straight to the river, river here, that's, that's yeah. got to be right. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's oh, good. Wow. Yeah, 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 that's that's Do I get maybe. points for style? Uh, yes. Oh, no, look, you don't stick to the river. I can see now that you get out on the other side, look, up there. You see uh, the dotted blue line with arrows on it? Yes, I can see it now. Where are the buggies now? Are they OK? They're back in England. Yeah, they're in storage in a bar in England. I was a bit worried about them at the end of that. Come on, mine's well, mine's got a totally seized engine. Nicest paintwork, I thought. They're the best. No. Well, you know, I think we should put it to the ch chat, actually. Mine's the best. He'd put his near a V8 and he'd done nothing to hit. Mine was magnificent. And I admired the elegance and the, the, the classicism of your beach body. Yeah, but it, it was... also had excellent, very pliant suspension, which is useful yeah, when you're yeah, running over rough terrain. All right, how are we getting on here? Have you seen the speedboats again? Yeah, you no, know, you've, I'm you've, have an accident. I've just had sorry, an accident. That's a, I mean, that's a yeah. legitimate way to get around the corner. That's oh, really? <laughs> how do you know whether the fences will steer you around <laughs> the corner or destroy your car? It depends how well, fast you, did, you hit you, them and what the angle, angle you hit them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit like pool or snooker, you know? Yeah, it's all not in any way. <laughs> um, well, there's a couple of good questions here. Forza Horizon again, because it's about music festivals, it's the soundtrack in this is incredible. Mm -hmm. Is music a big part for you guys when you're driving? And I've got a question yeah. here from no, we're, Frack we're the Rapper. Very different music yeah, in that just, just one yeah. So what kind of, of music do you Well, a lot to? of the time you can't have it on there because it completely completely corners the editors. If you yeah, yeah, you can't go on it too. But if, if, if there's a stretch where you're not filming, then you can, yeah. And sometimes if you've got distance to cover, 
and we film the film the film. Unless something happens, we're just making this. We were <coughs> seven hours. Of I was second out of two. Yeah. So we all listen to very different music. Okay. Yes. So really tell me your favourite. He sets off into the Rockosaurus plane. I have the planes of the Rockosaurus because I like. Well, I've got. I mean, I like nearly everything. Hammond likes bluegrass and he likes complicated jazz. I like quite bluesy stuff. You know bluegrass, Kentucky yeah, I, I bluegrass. Do like he does. Yeah. He does. I was. Where were you in Australia when you were playing that really complicated jazz? It's not very complicated jazz. It's complicated, well, it's complicated jazz. to me. Yeah, what was it? Legal. But everyone just turned up with an instrument and then played it, <laughs> irrespective of what the other one was doing. Yeah. yeah. So there was complicated jazz, and then I just sit and listen to Genesis, really old folk, old seventies stuff. Fine. Yeah. So no, when not. we're watching the show, between those stretches of you talking to camera in, in the driver's seat of yeah. the car, you're we'll then banging on some music. Yeah, we'll sometimes we've some just got to cover miles. Yeah. We can't film, and we are filming the whole time. If anything happens, we'll use it. But sometimes we've just got to get from A to B and keep those going. Those mini cams yeah. that are on in the car are on. All the time. All the time, 24 hours a day. They're on all the time. So if we're in the car, it, it's recording what's yeah. happening. Because you've seen somebody saying you weren't really in it when it came down the thing. Yes, yeah, so I did yeah. see that. Yeah, well, it just, it just was. <laughs> so because right. they're on all the I time. I can send in my under. Pants. Yes, I can. <laughs> well, also, you'd have to question how somebody else got in it. Exactly. I mean, so you could see that there was in it at one point. That means I must have got out yes. of it and put so why would you Pushed do that? Pushed it off a hill. Uh, no, what am I doing here? John, uh, you got a GTR? I think we're back gonna in go GTR to the, again. We're going to go to the next challenge, actually. Oh, OK. But just while we're still on that, the thing that occurs to me there is it's, it's got to be really difficult to pick your nose when you're driving. No, we just Not do really. it. No, yeah, you just go for it. And I'm afraid great wind. Pick yeah. your nose. Yeah. You just have to accept the fact that everything you say and yeah. do is all recorded sound-wise, even when you're out of the car. Yeah. Even when you're out of the car, okay. you'll be having a, a dump, you'll be on the lavatory, right. think, and then you suddenly think, this is being all recorded. being recorded. We have hard recorders, because of course the sound men, the, the microphones ordinarily send sound into the camera, but they need to belt and braces cover themselves, so we each wear a solid state sound People always say, why are you wearing those bum bags? Okay. They're full of sound recording equipment. And it is everything. And sometimes we'll be having a conversation and then we'll, all three of us look at each other and go, oh, wait a minute, <laughs> exactly. we shouldn't burn have, it, go burn and have it. to say to the sound recorder, is that bit, can yeah. you just lose yeah. that? When uh, we're discussing somebody else, for example. Yes. He's going to be able to earn a lot of money. He is. He, is. He, he, owns us. He, oh, he owns us. I'm sure, I'm sure he he you does. trust them implicitly. No, no, but the cameras are on and the sound is on all, all the time. Yeah. The thing about picking your nose, though, I mean, anybody who, who has driven something like, you know, the Navid Desert or especially the dusty bits afterwards on the washboard road, if they're going to claim that you don't end up with a nose full of building material that needs to be removed, then they're lying. It's well, you could actually build a house. You could build shelter yeah. for the night out of what's in your nose. Yeah. Right. And That's, do it together anyway, with what's in enjoy your Enjoy your breakfast or dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't fancy picking my nose on that. On those oh, no, the roads, you know, you can exactly. speed yeah, right. You could end up with your finger right through your it? cerebral cortex. What are we and... doing? Right. So the next thing we're going to do is a rivals challenge. Okay. So these are uh, kind of they're usually point to point races against the time limit, um, and they're often themed around particular uh, moments or events or whatever. And the great thing now is that we've got a grand tour rivals event, like an official grand Good. tour rivals event. Right. So we're going to give that a shot. It's Have you got here. to drive to it for 25 minutes? No, no. The nice thing about this is that we get straight in. I thought I was that was quite rapidly. Yeah, you were doing it. It's just, that, it's just that I noticed you'd chosen an element of the game where you had to do quite a lot of hero. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, rally fighter no, just, in the just Grand Jungle Coast Trail. So here we are, right? We're going to do this. I've got a couple of things I need to go the through rally first. Fighter. So this is being uh, created exclusively by the, the team. Can we at run Tarantana over everyone playground? from I'm a Celebrity because they're up on the Gold Coast, aren't they? It's Brisbane, isn't it? Get them. Get them. I kill them. I'll give that. As feedback to the development team, we'll see what yeah. we can do. It's great. Straight <laughs> through the jungle, I thought. <laughs> oh, that's a <laughs> Somebody eating a kangaroo. Blam! <laughs> Don't worry about dinner. <laughs> so, this is a point to point. You're going to be driving a rally fighter. Have you driven one of them before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, came I, I came to work. I came to work. All right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, this will be interesting, right? And you at home, can, if you've got Forza Horizon 3, you can take part in this right now. And the reason that you absolutely should do it is that you can win some amazing prizes, right? Yeah. Check this out, right? If you, you him. take part in this challenge, all you need to do do is get on Forza Horizon 3 uh, and play the challenge through. You're in with a shot of winning this amazing Xbox Live and Amazon Original, the Grand Tour and Forza Horizon 3 Sweepstakes Competition Grand Prize. Snappy time. I didn't, I didn't read that really at all. Featuring. Yeah. Yeah. Check this out though, right? And you'll, you'll like this one because you know you're saying you don't have an Xbox One yet. A two terabyte Xbox One S plus a 55-inch 4K Ultra HD TV. I don't know what any of those things are, but, but they sound, sound brilliant. brilliant. Trust yeah. me, the Grand Tour looks amazing a 55 on a 4K inch, TV. That's bigger than Hammond. It's a big old TV, isn't it? It is a bit. It is a bit. <laughs> but there's more. 
An Xbox One uh, Design Lab customized controller, right? So that's, that's one of these self. controllers, but you can change the colors, you can make it look exactly how you want to, right? Uh, can you make and a racing wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and a racing wheel and a $100 Amazon gift card And as well. this table. Yeah. Yeah. We'll chuck in the table. And this table. empty fine. glass, yeah. all this can be yours if you just do whatever he said. James is left trainer. And there's and second prizes mm, as well. There's um, oh God, two we've of We've got more Amazon vouchers. Mentioned. There's custom controllers. There's a whole bunch of other stuff Some as well, of right? Stuff. If you're on mm. Xbox One, go to the Amazon part of the dashboard, click into there, you'll be able to find out more about the Grand Tour, you can find out more about the challenge. If you've got Forza Horizon 3, just dive into Rivals, go to the monthly Rivals events Rivals. and play it. Play it. With that out of the way, let's get started. I think we're all going to have a shot at this one, you know? What is it? What we so actually, it's right. a point to point, right? Yeah, so, so we're going to start off with a rally fighter. Yeah. What is a rally fighter? It's this Come like on, James, you designed it. I remember you building yeah. it. It's yeah. snowing. It's a bit. It's actually a bit what, like the your um, no. the mashup of the uh, Land Rover and the MG. Oh. That you had to is it? So it's it's, I mean, visually, like the it's, I did it's like a somebody went like on Twitter this morning and said, "I'd like to buy and the excellent." <laughs> Probably it's an <laughs> and the excellent. Yes, so the excellent is the name. I'd like to buy an and the excellent. <laughs> so is this whatever this is going to snap in half <laughs> after three or four minutes? Is uh, that what well, it depends how hard you drive. I think yeah, it's a little bit sturdier. Than where is my excellent? That's a good question. No, we need to. As long as it's where it belongs, which is. No, it's speed. You're not going to bother you. Why would you do that? It's all our money. Right, okay. It's, oh, it's raining as well. I had to write help. it off as a, as a loss. Right. What happens next? We're going we're gonna to make this interesting for you, for you guys as well. You've right? reversed all the so controls. There is a prize on offer here. <laughs> no. It would be very There's funny if I won the 55 inch television, wouldn't it? I don't have a 55 inch television. No, no, but but I do. If I, I, can I offer a prize. I, I do have. An actual Xbox, Xbox One S. Oh, that's kind. Thing. Thanks very much. Well, well sorted that you out. may get your hands well, on it in a minute. Whoever wins the time. Whoever wins the time. So whoever posts the fastest time out of you Ooh, three, I think I might have a nibble as well, but I don't think I'm eligible for this. Um, we'll, we'll take this home today. However See, this that... Is it. This is what our lives have come down to. We're competing yeah. for, 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 for games. But there's probably that's more in this building. building. <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs> that is a prize. There's never more in this building. Prizes. I'm just going to steal and it. And oh, yeah. this includes Gears of War 4 as well, which is, a, is essentially like um, when you visit the Special Ops training. They actually modelled that on my life in Ross on White. Did you? They had modelled it on it. Did yeah. they? Yeah. So, that's what they so there you go. Well, right. Oh, did. So, so yeah. 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 with yeah. the see, sticks. I, see now. I, I, I couldn't even see, but I can see. It's like that. It's just like Putting Russell. Putting home! This. <laughs> it's like that. But your house, yeah. just enormous sort of plasma. Happens occasionally. There's plasma yeah. leaking. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, always yeah. doing that. Yeah. It drives me nuts. I You're trying to go to the village. So there you go. Is he called Pete? Yeah. In my mind, he is. He's called <laughs> Pete. JD. Pete, put your gun Please. away. JDs. Right, so with the stakes suitably raised, yeah. let's race. Okay. Who wants to go first? Not, not me. me. No, I said not me first, oh, actually. Me. Oh, come you, on. actually, Clarkson. Oh, why is it me? Because you were you have to big first game, last one, and I made a Which is the accelerator again, the one on the left? Uh, the other one on the right. Yeah, which is the right? Sorry, we're working out my I'm working out my right and left. No, other way around. This can only go well. Right, right, you're in, Jeremy. You Let me the are you okay with that? No, no, I'm not. You face right, the corner go. for this one. Go. Rubbish. Right, rubbish so you need to rubbish. follow the blue line, okay? That's yeah. the other that's, that's the, the main thing. Car. So the, the ghost is, is actually a rival that's that you're chasing you against. So I think whoever is the rival, they probably saw their gamer tag on screen there if they're watching, so that might have been quite cool for them. Oh, right. It turns out, so yeah. is that somebody on? Is, are they playing that live? Oh, it doesn't have very good Three, steering. No, so it? that's remembered their best time on okay. this course, and it's yeah, it's put them in as a ghost right? there. It looks it's like a good a start. It's a good start. It's See, it really look like not very MG. good steering. Land Rover, doesn't it? It's a. It does a bit. It looks like it's yeah, 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 the angle like the and GGT. Yeah, except yeah. it works. Mine work. What on about? Really. Water. This is a good start. Sign, sign, oh, tree. You missed that, that checkpoint. That's all right. So, what do you mean checkpoint missed? Well, you right. missed a checkpoint. I've got a question for you coming in the chat as well. What? Is that just going to distract you, or do you want to hear it? Go on, then what? Uh, so it's from GTP Cowboy. He wants a written answer. That's yeah. his real name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else. Does that help? And he's asking, Acura NSX or Audi R8? NSX. Ooh, I think I'd give it a uh, which, which R8? The V10 or the V10? V10. Oh, he, does, he hasn't gone into oh, that level of detail. Special. I haven't driven, to be honest, I haven't yet driven the Honda. Right. I know you call it an Acura, but the Honda NSX, I, well, I haven't yet driven it, so don't know. But I have driven the, the new Audi R8. And I tell you what, it's not bad. It's like that, you know, RS7 under on it at the moment. Yep. Mm. That's not bad either. Ugly. It's really ugly. It's it appears to be massive as well. Every it's time also, do you know how much it is? No. It's, on, that one's nine and a hundred grand. Well, I came, I've got that CCT3 AMG. 
And you know how I always... I've never liked an AMG. Yeah, yeah. I think I might like... I can like them now, because you haven't got one. <laughs> but it's... I oh it. It's it prowls. It's got presence. James, you drove the, the new NSX yes, in I today's did. show, I actually. It. Yeah. yeah, indeed. Yeah. So, a big fan of it. Yeah, I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's but really, really nice. It's really easy to drive, but it's exciting and it's fizzy. It does feel futuristic. It does feel it? very, yeah, enlightened is the word I use. Oh, I just went through the checkpoint. Yeah. Well, that's what you're no, supposed to do. Again, all right. So, what is well, it? If you go through the checkpoint, what happens? Is it? No, you, so if you skid press past. Press yellow again, you can go back a bit further. If you miss oh, the checkpoint, that's just unlucky. Isn't that it? Really is. I Maybe go past a bit, bit, bit further so you have back to go as well. Between Yellow the again. flags at the checkpoint. Yes. Oh, I see. Right, now go. go. Press green. Right. Green and go. Whilst in full drift, there you and go. waving out the window, I presume. Right. See if you yeah. miss this. If you just skip round the outside of the checkpoints, you, it counts as you haven't gone through, which I that's think right. is technically unforgiving. It's cruel. Is also technically cool. correct. Yeah, it's technically. <laughs> just, can't argue. With it. Yeah. See, I'm just oh, doing it again. You're okay. You're okay. You got it back. You got it. That counts. <laughs> you both seemed a little bit unsure about the NSX on the show today. Was that was that more about just, no, you just know, James. undermining James? It's just undermining James. Okay. I mean, it, it, if you <laughs> notice the Fiat One Two Four that Hammond drove, we were James and I were unsure about it. And then yeah. what did I drive? The M2, didn't I? Yeah. And these two were unsure about that. <laughs> it's just we can't. It's just too easy to just. If one likes something, feature. then we have to dislike it. Fair enough. Okay, so here so we go. So we're going to have to do oh. So 244. You lose. You lose. Yeah. Right. So what are you doing? 244665. Right, so James, if you press the blue button. I don't think I'm going to be going home with a box. Yep. Well, I don't know. It depends. I think that's a good good place to start. Hopefully someone on the production team has recorded that time. Um, right, oh, one other thing I need to chuck in just now is that we're going to take a plane to Blizzard Mountain soon as well. Now, Blizzard Mountain's... I think it's ostensibly still set in Australia, but it's it's a snowy mountain, right? So I don't know which part of Australia that yeah, is. Yeah, the words blizzard and mountain yeah. were pretty self-explanatory. Right, Snow fine. So, yeah, no, sure. but it just confuses me that it's in Australia as well, but let's, let's cross over that. So, it, please vote yeah. now in the Twitch yeah. and Beam chat yeah, for who you'd like to see go. driving first on Blizzard Mountain, and we'll, we'll jump over there in a few minutes' time. Right, so I've got a question here from ZeroCab30, and he says, Hello, the GT guys. Have you, gotten a, hello. <laughs> have you gotten a chance to check out the new Civic Type R? Yes, yes. extensively. He has a, well, when James you say the new one. James is our under correspondent, actually, is it? When you say, when you say the no, new one. No, James, you're going to have to rewind. Why? Because you missed that checkpoint. No, you hit the flag, that's it. No, you missed and that, that one. Uh, that one. You missed that one. Is that a checkpoint? You might yes. have just clipped it. So you no, think it's OK if the game doesn't tell well, you. Mine just, right. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, here we go. Well, I don't make it, Jeremy. On their way. You are the leader of your Horizon group. Uh, yeah, what were you saying oh, yeah, about the Honda? Full extent uh, of your Civic Type R. I assume he means the, the he brand really new likes super it. New I felt like an idiot in it. I'll be honest. Okay. I think for the right buyer, if you were in your twenties, you could possibly afford on an insurance. Mm. Great. But if you're in your forties, I felt like a bit of a muppet driving around. Okay. And it's got a lot of things. To... And anyway, it's been replaced now already, hasn't it? Really? Yeah, Civic Type R is one of it lasted... Here it is, and now it's, and it's gone. gone. I, I yeah. crashed, but I crashed going through the checkpoint. I've just so remembered was... I have driven one. The new Type R? Yeah, you have. You had the one that we had in the blue one, didn't yeah. you? Or red, was yours oh, red? I have driven one. It had very it? deep bucket seats. It did? Yeah. It does, yeah. I got lost in one. I'll hit the James, checkpoint. James, you haven't missed a single checkpoint. Well, no, because I was doing that and it kept saying go right. back. It was really annoying. Yep, yeah, it, was it was against you. All right, I'm going to keep that theme growing of, of asking you to, to face off about cars, because I know you like an argument about cars, right? So, yeah. so what I've done is I've like pulled a list. About everything, to about everything. Right? I've, I've pulled a list of cars that have featured in the Grand Tour yep. and also feature in Forza Horizon 3. Yep. Uh, and I thought we could just read them out. It's kind of a, a car showdown. Head to head. Okay. Yeah. So I thought I'd read out each matchup, it's one v one, and uh, get your opinions on which one you think is the is the better car. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start off with from the first episode of the Grand Tour, the McLaren P1 versus the Ferrari La Ferrari. Well, you know what we're going to say. You already know the answers <laughs> to this one. It's the Ferrari. Oh, actually, between those two. Well, the McLaren or the Ferrari? It's the McLaren. Yeah, I think so I'd much more. Go, I might go. In the Oh, I hate it. Agree. But I've got, I either agree with him or with him. So Neither. I'd walk. <laughs> <laughs> no, the McLaren is just nuts. It is an edgy thing. Yeah. It's, it's really it's tricky. Stupid. It's surprisingly, for a car, it's surprising. It, I mean, you, you just think they put all that horsepower in it and they haven't really tethered the front. It's like playing with a chainsaw in a wardrobe. Yes. Right. Terrifying. But when you step out of the wardrobe having completed it, you see what I did there. <laughs> 
fantastic. It's bizarre. It's it's the front. It has very little grip at the front when you really get going. And it took me a few days to get to the point when you could tell. But the front goes, and then when well, you're so busy taming the front, then the back starts going. And what did you do when you completely? You left the that missed one. thing, the, the the wing. Yeah. That was an oh, amazing, you, you genuine will. moment and, uh, of then, sheer you, terror. You can always tell on camera. Let me just before, yeah. you can always tell on camera when it's this is not put on for camera. It's right, because right, right, right. I put the I put the <laughs> rear wing down. Yeah. So that it doesn't it would come That's up it, automatically it when you get to I forget what speed exactly. The rear wing would come up automatically. I bolted the not bolted Held it, it electronically bolted it down. That yeah. button. Which meant Oh, the DRS, that's right, I was holding the DRS, yeah. which kept it open. Which meant when I got to the end of the straight, it just no had, it, the back was just, <laughs> was helium light. Right. So as I was braking, now James is braking in the Ferrari here, and the Ferrari's, let's be honest, not very good rear visibility, so he would not have known the problems I was having. And I thought, if he doesn't, if I, could, I want to go around the corner, mm -hmm. because I can't slow down. I lost But I well. can't go because... I can't because James is there. Yeah. And I really did think this is going out of control. Because if, if you practice your there. face for that, if you think, right, I'm going to make a TV show now about cars, and if you're yeah. playing the games, if you're playing on here, and you think, right, I'm going to lose it, and you're going to go, oh no, this is what you don't. You, go, <laughs> you just put you just, stupid just, faces yeah. and look scared. <laughs> It's, a, it's the noise as well, right? There's a there's a yeah, marvelous yeah. bit from the olden days of Richard Hammond at Monza <laughs> in the Pagani um, Hawaii, and. Yeah, that's he, he's rabbiting away about it, going down the main straight, and then just stops yeah, talking. Not and, and there's just nothing. He's but just start, we'll a blank it. face. Well, someone's written it down. And I knew he'd overdone it before the corner. Okay. When in and, the and the face the just fell. Yeah. And you don't pull an heroic face, you don't scream or look panic stricken, you just pull a No, you didn't face. pull it. Your face simply stopped moving yeah. about. I'm scared. That's it was horrible. just. A man thinking, I'm going in that wall in a minute. Is it difficult to to drive and talk in the way that no. you do? No, you, uh, so I mean, was it, was it ever no, difficult? No, I mean, no, what is it? Right? Sorry? It's not as difficult as this. Right, yeah. What, what is, is, I genuinely find it difficult to do this. What's to really surprisingly difficult, actually, what? is when I get into the car, either when I'm by myself or even more embarrassing, when I'm with someone and find myself doing it. <laughs> on your own. As though I'm driving. Yeah, because I, I don't find it difficult at all. So apparently, some people do. Mm. You know, can't actually hang the tail of a car out and then just keep talking. But talking is something we all do, well, particularly me, just you. do all the time well, anyway, well, so it doesn't make any difference to you. Fair. Can I, am I allowed to make a constructive comment about this game? Of course, no, yeah. I, we are here to promote it. As long it, as it's it. constructive. It's very good, it's extremely clever. Can you change the sort of proportionality of the steering knob? Because I find it a bit yes. non-linear. Uh, the proportionality is non linear. Non -linear. James May Thing has joined the world of gaming with his proportionality <laughs> on this checkpoint. I'm Rewind. going the long way around to get back. There's a wealth There's of customization options in you, and you can tune your car any way you want it. Yeah. I mean, you can actually switch I'm getting, out the I'm components getting a bit of the car. You can put in a How do I go back to get that checkpoint, sort of team? So if you really want to get deep into it, because I'm lost in the woods. If you wouldn't mind, there it is. There it is. Less, less. Easy on that throttle, or is it? Just feel it. Because it's annoying. Because James messed that exact one as well, but it didn't say how to go back. It's a computer. It doesn't have moods. No, but but it was a weird. I wonder if there's some that you don't that it allows you to miss. That would be what somebody else. Do you think people want to brush them and you're not going to touch the flag? Yes, they will. No, they're fine. I think you're you're in a good position here at the moment, Jeremy. I think. Right, uh, okay, let's go to our next car showdown, right? So I've got uh, a Mazda MX-5, which you've already yeah. seen on the stream today, versus an Alfa Romeo 4C Spyro. MX-5, oh, come on. It. MX the 4C is absolutely ridiculous. horrifically bad. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, it's so pretty and so want one -y. I don't, I don't like the front of it. I think it's got a great profile, but they messed up his face like Alfa Romeo have done for about the last 15 years. I they think can't they do, do the front of a car. They should do a V6 one. Stop messing about with all that ultra lightness. A V6 one with like an old Ferrari Daytona interior with those little rivets in the seats, and that would be superb. Well, if I may be so bold, the first thing I'd do is give it some power steering. Oh, yeah. That's number one. <laughs> yeah. First number thing I'd two, do is give it to Toyota to make, actually. No, no, there's nothing wrong with them. And I'd do power steering followed by a bigger fuel tank followed by um, more power steering. <laughs> Because at the moment it just darts left and right for no reason, and then it really is hard to hard to park. So I mean, obviously, obviously, if you're actually going to buy one, you're going to buy the Master. If, on the other hand, you actually just want to go through Rome for the day, you take the Alfa Romeo. <laughs> oh. You just want to borrow one for yeah. a couple of I days. I love the simplicity of the MX-5. I think it's a, a magnificent car. I really do. I 
Not All really right. simple. Fine, so that's... Uh, I, think, uh, oh, I think we'll call that one a draw. Okay. Think, right? Uh, I've got oh, a question here much, about... Uh, I'm yeah. not very... <laughs> I'm really not Do we like the Mark II Jetta 16 valve? What? GTA. Yeah, that's an interesting this one. This is the man here from a the Jetta. 1980s. Do you guys like the Mark II Jetta How are you, did he, did he yes. post? Did he post it? It was very good. That was did a very he... early internet experiment that's got through. It is that somewhere. In other Chat, words... You know how when I... So who's this? Breast 2240. Breast 2240. The Mark II yeah. Jetta 16 valve. Good car. It was an excellent car. An excellent car. I'm quite envious. Better than the current them. Jetta by a very considerable margin. And then we've got another one here from Rodzinski123. Rodzinski He's curious about what James thinks about the new Rolls-Royce black badge. Oh, we've got black badge. Yeah. They're doing all those black ones. Oh, well. Come black on, James. Type thing. You're the Rolls-Royce expert here. What's the black badge? They're doing black versions of mine. Well, guess what colour they are? <laughs> oh, see, I thought you meant the badge was black. It I is. Don't... Yes, but it's a black badge now, version. Those are the sort of stealth and performance ones. My time um, wasn't, wasn't, the, wasn't the lowest number. It was the height. That's, that's... yeah. So I thought that was the idea. <laughs> time I trial, I've got more time. Yeah. I've got more time on So my the trial to find have, more time. More time. I've got you more enjoyed time the board. game for longer to than fair, we, we did. We didn't Wins. specify that before well, the challenge won started. That one. But, uh, I won, yeah, because you hit all the checkpoints. No, I think you've, no, I think you've, hit, you've won that significantly. No, you've won that. You went through all the checkpoints. I kept having to reverse. Here we go, here we go. I've got the official times here. So, Jeremy, you were at 244.665. James at 328.242. Oh, was a minute full. And bringing up the rear, Richard. 332. I don't want to win this stupid game. Anyway. <laughs> Good, excellent. 45 seconds. That is my. There was there God's was a couple of rewinds from Jeremy. Yes. <laughs> excellent. No shopping for me. Yeah, if you're watching, he bought it. <laughs> right, he isn't so watching. I know exactly where he is. Do you want to hold on to Buckingham. this? Or? Yes, exactly. Congratulations. Isaac, I know you're not watching. I know where you are, but that's what you're getting for your birthday in March. Job done. Sorted. How old is he? Because that's an 18 game. So we just need to. Yes, I know he's 18. Beautiful. Nice. That's perfect timing. <laughs> All right, let's grab this back. Right. Yeah, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get us to Blizzard Mountain, but in the meantime, I'm going to give you the next car showdown. So it's a Vulcan. Mm -hmm. versus, this is a bit of a weird matchup, right? Aston Martin Vulcan no, versus a 2017 Ford GT. How about that? Ooh. Oh, yeah, so the, the GT well, to be have. brutally honest, you'd have to be the, I mean, the Vulcan. Oh, the new GT. Yeah, the new GT, but you can't, They're you not can't compare actually... Them. The well, Vulcan you can't no, use right. on the road exactly. or a track. I mean, it you was an amazing use. thing. And it, it, yes, but it was, as I said, it's a celebration of the past. It's a celebration of what cars used to be like. This was what we used to make. But you wouldn't want to drive around it. Well, you couldn't. It's like a monument. And it oh. is. It's a mon it's a statue to what we've done these past hundred years. And the GT again. Well, nobody's driven one yet, no. apart from Ford test drivers. Is I mean, that, the V6 is what's interesting to me. One. <laughs> it's, it's the V6. To put it as V6 is a, is a, is a brave Very call cool. from their marketing department to go, yes, we'll give it a V6. Because mm. it's probably the right thing to do. But it better be good. It, it better, better be, be good. really good. Your good old boys are going to say, it's too short, aren't they? Yeah. And that's there all they're going to say. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you, do you feel like, I know, James, you did a, a piece on the, the Ford GT40 and the, the birth of the Ford GT. Mm. Do you feel the new GT, like, lives up to that heritage and that legacy? Well, I, I, to be honest, I think the heritage thing, especially with that new one, is a bit of a red herring there, because it is built as a racing car, isn't it? It's yeah, a homologated it racing car, in essence, and it's completely modern. But I know they love the idea of buying into all the glory, as indeed Aston Martin does, and then Bentley does a case. You're talking about chaps with blazers and... Well, every single car thing, company does it. It's not... It's not really James, true. Yes. You look like an historian being interviewed on television. Well, yeah. I was being one then, actually, just, just very briefly. No, but all car companies do it. I mean, every, no, not just car companies, every single well, company in the world yeah, does well, yeah. yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, Otherwise, we'd have new companies starting. Well, so I was thinking the other day about Mustang. They're, they're going to be hybrid, they're talking about. A Mustang yeah, no, exactly. and F 150. You need heritage. Hybrid. You need heritage, otherwise, it all becomes too confusing. BMWs have to have the Hofmeister kink or whatever, that, not Hofmeister, that's a beer. It is a beer. Hoffman, yeah. you know, what's yeah. it called? Yeah. That kink in the C pillar, they have what to have it. Called? it. You've made me think of Hofmeister. It, it isn't Hofmeister, <laughs> but it's something like well, that. that Somebody can tell us. Yeah, anyway, works, the C they, okay. all BMWs have that kink. It doesn't matter whether it's an i3, it doesn't matter what it is, they have that kink. It's heritage, it's just... It's, it's a styling sort of, cube. It's, it's a styling cube. And all cars, I mean, this is where I think Jaguar has gone a bit wrong, is they've just completely the detached way. themselves from their past, and it's a mistake. Because that, that was a valuable thing, it had yeah. a value. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put snow tyres on your, uh, on the GTR here. I'd rather go in slicks. slicks, I'm going in slicks, okay? 
Look how good that car looks. Let's in put the snow tires on. It never just looks good. No, it, it does. doesn't look good. It does. It does. That shape no. towards the back it's is not fabulous. A good looking car. It is. No, no it isn't a good looking car. It is. It's, it's, it's a good car. It's, it's a, a very good car. car. It's an outrageously good car. But not a good looking car. Why, why have none of the three of us ever owned a GTR? I don't know. I don't know. I've been very weird. tempted. Well, I was, I've been seriously tempted. Or Super Impreza. Yeah. I've been very tempted by no, I've never been tempted, tempted, tempted by them. No, those things do. They do some. I do, do sometimes look at them. Some, you occasionally see one and think, why have I not bought one of those? But well, they are extraordinarily good. Aren't they? they are and really good. And extraordinarily good value. Well. And what really? I really like is I have a, a friend who's a girl who has no interest in cars at all. I mean, just literally none. And I picked her up in one of, and every single car I've ever given her a lift anywhere in, she will always go, "This is disgusting. What is this? Disgusting." Everything is always disgusting yeah. if it isn't a broken old Subaru. And she got it, never commented on it. Which means? Which means it isn't disgusting. Which is like GTR. Yeah. She, it was just, as far as she was concerned, it was just an car. I'm going to be brilliant at this. Mm. Right, here yeah, we are. So so honestly, it's suddenly I realised. You, you feel at home gonna, now, right? That's going to be brilliant. So we're on Blizzard Mountain. Now, yeah. actually, the results of the poll are in. Uh, and 41% of our viewers uh, have decided that Jeremy is going to be first to drive on, on the 32% went for so, Richard, even though he was the slowest. James, you've only got 27 So I think that's, what we're going to do here... Oh, that's the order we're going. Good. Well, Jeremy, you have to go first. with what the you... people want. They also said, Jeremy, would you drive it whilst facing the other way? Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. I'm going to give you guys the force, says, Luke. What does it say? Put bucket on head. Oh, no, bucket <laughs> list. <laughs> <laughs> Does James right, and I try to, to read that? Is oh, actually it's not, in it's you. not much better either, on that. Right, yeah. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and queue up this bucket list. This is all, this flight. is part I of video assume. gaming. When you go around to a friend's house, they say, oh, I've got the new game. What you actually then do is spend an hour while they do <laughs> this. Yes. And there's a lot of... While I play with my son, while he's choosing what guns he wants and what features he wants on the guns, and call him GG. Will you just... It doesn't make any difference. What are you doing? I'm trying to find out where this bucket list challenge is. Talk amongst yourselves, Jen. Right, it's middle left near the forest. Okay, near the forest. You could have carried. You didn't have to read that out. You could have just carried that. Out. That was an instruction. I you know, could have just I said, know. "I think it's the middle left." Bucket list. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Bucket yeah. list. Blueprint. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll try. It. You, you, did a, you did a you did an anchor man. Then you read out exactly what was on the screen. We're <laughs> getting some really specific instructions here. Well done. Let me give you another card. Stop reading what's on the screen. Oh, they did that to me once, and it worked. Yeah, of course it does. I was doing a show last time a kids show and at the end I'm on because I had to have prompt so much words on the end they put a question mark after my name and I did go I'm Richard Hammond oh and you've done it and it worked what you just I did a full Ron Burgundy anchor man read exactly what was on the auto prompt <laughs> I'm Richard yeah. Hammond oh, I, I think we've got it I think we've got it this car's right. got it's just I, mean, well, this, this I, I hate to say this you're making wrong a there, right? terrible We're mess of it right Jeremy take this from me quickly because I'm making a mess of this well, right gonna I'm going to give you another better, another Sorry about that, everyone. Right, another another face-off here, right? I want to... Well, is this me to setting a time now? So follow the blue line on the sat-map, yeah. and it's going to take you to Whoa, this brush. Whoa, OK. Recognise one of them? Yeah, we've just been driving one, haven't we? You'll get to drive one in a second. So, and, and funnily enough, it features in this next showdown. So the choices are, in honour of today's edition of the Grand Tour, the excellent... No. ...versus... Yeah, whatever else. ...the Warthog. What Warthog? What the army Warthog? Yeah, the, well, not the plane, not the no, A10. No, no, the, the, the Warthog military vehicle, you mean? Well, the Halo Warthog. You know the video game Halo? No. Oh, yeah, obviously. I was playing it before. <laughs> no. That Warthog. So, so in Forza Horizon 3. It could have been whatever. It could have been either his car or a plate of what comes out of a dog. Or yes. might have the left. The excellent or piles. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to be a difficult one. Oh, no, it's piles. I've not had a certain, uh, Whoa, a certain appeal to it. It was a Fiat 500 about to... Um, so the, the, war, the Warthog yeah. is, a, is a 2554 AMG Transport Dynamics. Oh, yeah. M12S Warthog Oh, CST. that Warthog. Yeah. Right. Jeremy, we'll get you a just shot played... You mean an A10 Tank Buster is a Warthog as well, as James it, would I mean, have... Knows full well. <coughs> it's yeah, similar similar to an that. actual warthog. A warthog is a warthog. Not riding yeah. on the back of an actual warthog. No, we'll I'd get a chance to that. drive it in a minute. I mean, of course, it'll be the civilian version without the machine no, gun James, on the back. We're and live and we can have a shot. Just do it in the yeah. So I think we should we should have a drive of the warthog first, and then you can decide whether it's better than the excellent. No, I can decide right now. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's better. Very good. All right. So while we're getting there, oh, here we are. Is that the one? No, keep going. It's just coming in here. So what is this challenge? Right, that's Not it there. There's that the warthog car. there. So hang a Yui, and back you go. Yep, this is there exactly it is, what you're going to be driving your whole life. 
No, it's in there, and to the left. Okay. Where? Well, back up. Isn't he? Isn't he? Mm. Use the handbrake. Get the handbrake on. It's the A. All the way around. Put the handbrake and you will spin wild. There you go. Oh, I was happy for Which is the handbrake? Back the way you came. Yeah, which is the handbrake? Hey. Yeah, green button. What? The green A button. What? Oh, just go over the hill. It's fine. Oh, what am I doing? Just driving about? No, no, no. <laughs> Shall I get us there? Yeah. Yeah. Just Shall tell I get us there? If you use words to communicate... Follow what? the blue line to the destination, so... I'm turn around. Pink the blue line on the... <laughs> oh, we could go this way, we could go this way. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's nicely handled. Yeah, but the wrong way. But it's way. the wrong way. Yeah, but Come on, let, let me get us there quickly, because I really want us to do this Yeah, there you go. That was it, that was it. get to drive a while. I'm going back up now. Yeah, the bottom corner is what you follow. There you go. Right, so here's another, because we're running out of time now, so here's one last car showdown for you, right? The Aston Martin DB11. Yes, the other that. one. No, that. Hellcat. Well, it's funny you say that, because it is the Hellcat. Yes, so Do you know I was going to say that? Uh, yeah, because we drove with them together on oh, the show, course, and yeah, I love fine. the Hellcat. Well, I haven't actually driven the DB11, but it still gets my vote. It was glorious. And that on this was decent. Oh, I'm sorry to have to say this. That was pretty yeah, good. That was you nice. Down. Right, that so was just a slow down. It was just a stop Hang right. wheel <coughs> now, there's a there's a big mad look at <laughs> you. Straight ahead. There Drive up next to that thing. There. And then you have to get out of press the blue there? sign, right, and press green. So Explode. this is called when pigs fly, and you're going to have to take this warthog uh, off a off a big, I guess, a snow jump. Oh, you're in the warthog now. Yeah. Yes. Right. In the warthog. This is the warthog we were talking about. about so I thought you were <laughs> racing against the warthog. <laughs> he was meant to be a fluid lead in. You know, the thing is, everybody <laughs> who started watching this now has children of their own. <laughs> yes. How's your life Whole been? new games have yeah. been invented. What am I doing? Just driving about. Uh, so follow the blue line again. And it, Which is... Oh, God. Yeah, oh, God. It's an interesting blue line now, isn't it? Yeah. There it is. There it is. All right, so back around that way. And then, oh yeah, so once you go up the hill, back around. Not, not through the fence and into the tree. Oh, this well, is tricky because it's got a, a quick No, I don't tight tight understand what we're it. doing now. I've lo I'm losing the... I think we're going to do right. a big jump. Right. Shall you I ever failed be, to be, yeah, I don't know. I'm not first, quite right? sure what we're doing. Yeah. I think so it's moving from the start. I it's a, know you're in the warthog. I'm just very confident <laughs> He's in the warthog. Now. Yeah, we're confident I'm in an A10 tank buster. I'm yeah. going to pretend like I know exactly what we're doing here, but the first time I've had a pop at this one as well. Okay, this well, is we're about to find out. a cheap car that can be modified okay. heavily for track days. Anyone got any suggestions from uh, Phil 3? Track days. Citroen Saxo. Oh, oh yeah, oh. actually, if you're in the UK, I would go oh, Saxo. There you have. Or a BMW 320, actually. We'd, yes, yes. Not yes we've got some experiences with those. Six cylinders, pretty good. OK, here we go. So it's a I bit of a trick. Yeah. Yeah. He's away. actually flying! I've never been so excited in my life! Look at the bubble hat! The view is amazing! Oh, and I landed it as well! What? You failed to beat something or other. I don't know. OK, right, so you know where you're going now, right? No, I was looking at questions. No, I wasn't So as soon as it starts off, you need to hang a hard right. Yes. To follow that line. Yes. And then through the trees, off the jump. Yeah. Follow the blue line. Really just thing. give it the berries when you get to the jump. So yes. hard right. Don't go down there. Yeah, it's round the back of there. Yeah, but not through the. Yeah. Okay. Oh, some directional issues. Hard right again. Or on. left. Oh, which way? That's it. Follow that blue line. Do you know the blue the, line? That's where I started. Oh, sorry. There's a too many blue lines here. Exactly. Yeah, it's rubbish. <laughs> what are you right. actually on about? You right. just yeah, head back up, now, back to the left. What? I'd be such a bad sat nav, wouldn't I? Back up the hill. That's it. Right. Right. There you go. Straight on. What do you want me to do? Straight up the hill. Up the hill. Left. Take a left. Failed. <laughs> so I, think we've, I think we've probably covered it now. No, you have a go. I think we've probably covered it because you just you don't know there's blue lines everywhere on the screen. And you go no left, hard right. I'm doing right. my best. So what do I do? Tom Tom will not be getting it's in touch with me for follow the blue line. Yeah, but right the blue line. Jump. Just a warning. <laughs> go right, over. Yeah. Now let's take it. We can do this. We can Try, do this this together. This is right? the longest I've ever gone with. Hard right. Yeah, that's what I did. And okay, then see the blue line. See the blue chevrons. Oh yeah, that's the ones you want to shoot. So now, now just just follow. Yes, he's done it. Well it done, takes Hammond. you off road. Do I go to the so right? Don't let that, yeah. Yes, yeah, right. Follow the line. Yeah. Is yellow. <laughs> right, and then through these trees. I think you can plow straight through these trees. And I'll, there's a jump. There's a jump. Let's see what you uh, do. Let's give it the berries. Come, Come on. on. I'm going into space. Oh, hey. That's brilliant. Hammond is in space. Oh, oh he's yeah. landed it. Ah. No. Right, so oh, he's like, it's my turn to fail. I don't fail. know how fast we need to get to get over there. Million. Right, come on then, Mr. May. Let's see what you've got. So this, I think this is going to be the final challenge of our uh, stream. So retry? It's, it's all on this. Retry, can't I? Why does Was it, it like this when you were in LA? Blue line. 
Or not. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we had a proper steering wheel. Because <laughs> <so I, laughs> yeah. yeah. these two went to the they practice, frankly, yeah. at this. Uh, it, it says fail, they haven't even started. No, you're still going. It's, 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 it's a personal judgment. I don't want to pressure you, but you've only got 14 seconds left. Oh, OK, right. Did we actually what? drop off air 14 time. seconds from now? No, 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 sorry, in the game. Don't worry. Oh, just right, keep your foot hard down. Don't ignore yeah, the braking. Just keep clicking. Five horsepower finger. This is it. James there May. Go, right. He's going to be the only one to do it. He might. He oh, might. that's fine. <laughs> 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 so we have time for one more go? We have one more go? Can James have another go? Yes. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's part. not like a 30 well, why, second time. Why is there got, a time limit? Press green, you've got time for another go. Because it's a, go on, one last shot of this. There has to be some pressure, dawdling <laughs> It really is dead cracking. Yeah, that first bit goes. He had about, slid off he had about half an hour. That's why you only got 10 goes. seconds. <laughs> Oh, well, I see, because he had so many goes. Right, got exactly. it. Right, so get this first bit out of the way quick, and then... Right, that's, so, it, that's it. Like it works. Go, go, right, go, go, that, go, 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 and then left. Right, get some throttle on there now. You've got to just hand the throttle wide open now, all the way. He's Slight lift there, time. and then on it. He's going to run out of time. Yeah, is he? No, you're good. You're good. Trees, you're good. demolish. Straight demolish. through. It doesn't matter. Let's do this. Doesn't you're going to do it, James. It's the worst thing you've ever done. Literally. Look at that. You made it. James Look at all that time jumping. left as well. Who? Oh, oh, he's just so not good. Well, that landed exactly where yours did. No, he cleared that rock. He cleared the rock. Cleared the rock, indeed. He did. Cleared there the we rock. go, that, we're out of time now. I mean, actually, that last go took us over time a little bit, but it's fine. That's a shame, I was I about think, to be brilliant. Yeah, I don't know, I think I maybe had the biggest jump there, but let's not dwell yes, on the details. Yeah, but you work here. Yeah, no, that's not fair. That's a good point. Let's not get bogged point. down with, right. ooh, jump the furthest. Gents, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been a, oh, it's been a great laugh. Thank, Thank you so much, everyone, for watching us. As I say, thanks to Jeremy, Richard and James for joining us. Don't forget the Grand Tour is streaming sure now on Amazon Instant really. Video. New episodes up today in Stuttgart, which is great. Yes. Um, so make sure you check that out. Uh, and hopefully you'll do even better than us on the Grand Tour Rivals event in Forza Horizon 3. It's live right now. Just get into Rivals mode, into monthly Rivals events, and you'll be able to play that. Everything he uh, said. Yeah, and there you go. Any last yeah. words from you, gentlemen? What? what? Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Uh, thank you very much for having us uh, and enjoy. Yes, play yes. this. It's brilliant. And I hope, I hope you've got some new driving skills, having watched us. I'm sure yes. they do. All right, everyone, thank you so much. We'll see you on Xbox Live very Bye. soon. Bye. Cheers now. Bye now. <laughs>
Yeah. Is that you remember, you remember if you tap here as well, you'll get the handbrake going, which might I help did, you I just did. get I was those. Jump. I was the big difference as well between video games and real cars is that no, it's not hurting <laughs> so much. It's the if we were doing this in a real car, it would now be broken. It would. Well, there you go. Well, well, well you can. I mean, you can turn on. Uh, actual damage in here. We've got it on cosmetic. Well, I don't so, you know, know. Really get just to make the stream smoother. You... Not because we didn't have faith in you guys yeah. that you wouldn't smash yeah. it into trees and all that yeah. sort of stuff. But. So let's talk about the grand tour of the show itself. I mean, we're about sort of six, seven episodes nine. in. Nine. Nine, nine episodes yeah. nine. in. Well, it depends. Yeah. I've just been arguing with Amazon. They claim we're on eight, but we're not. We're on nine because yeah, they last split. Was not. Exactly. And the special was two. It the says nine. Two, exactly. Yeah. No, yes. exactly. We 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 know that we've just had target two fixation. Years. That happened then. Sorry, and then. Oh, I apologise. No, we're on we're on nine. We just finished. That was in, in from Germany. Yeah. With lots of four different films in it. We haven't done four different films before. Um, in, in one show, so that was quite good because often it just ends up with being one. So yeah. I'm being distracted by Richard Hammond <laughs> <laughs> just driving like a spanner. Is it normal to do that? Oh, yeah. okay. it is. It's a little bit of a fail. Well, let's just see. Let's, what, do you see. Wanna, let's have another go. James, do you want to well, go again no, no, or do you want to pass it on? Go James, James, you want to go? Set the standard. So if you press the green button, James, you can get straight you back sure. in. Yep. Oh, but you're in a rocky place with a dog. That's it could be half a dog. A little dingo, I think. So yeah, yeah, so Stuttgart is the Stuttgart show that's this, gone live today, got, right? We've got two weeks you, coming James? up where we're in Scotland, both yeah, weeks. Fantastic. We that was yeah, tremendous. Up How in was Inverness. It? Yeah. Yeah. it was good, actually. Good it was very cool. good fun. On the banks of the Ness, I hear? It, right on the banks of the Ness, yeah, up near Inverness. Mm. So that was good. And then finish up in uh, uh, Dubai. Start with the sort of day, yeah. um, For the final one. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's been... We're very grateful to everyone for saying they like it. Here we are. Because um, it was a huge risk. It's kind of, it's kind of... <laughs> you're supposed to hit things. No, you're no, not, you're not yeah, actually. You no, you're not. So, you don't get points well, for hitting it, things. I thought you did. No, it's... You, do. it's you, you it's actually do. But skill it chain, you Thank get you. ten. No, it's the, just... The, the trick is to know which ones you can hit and go through well, and which ones are... the target is 18,000 skill points and yeah. I got 600. See, go, head up that ramp and get onto the top and then you can pull off a massive jump out the other side. Okay, can I go there from the other side? Yeah, go right, 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 right. There you go. So the thing that strikes me as I've been watching it is obviously you're having an absolute ton of fun putting it together. Yeah. Yes. What, what has been the most gen... For you, even if it's behind the scenes, what has been the most genuinely fun location or part or challenge that you've done in the show mm. so far? The Grand Tour. I think I Is think it? Italy was pretty good. Yeah, that was, that was... There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good one. Oh, that's, that was ultimate. That is what you meant. Five hundred. Yeah. Exactly. I think, for me, I think I enjoyed making the one where we drove across Italy because I thought... I thought that was... I took... I rather enjoy it when a story's coming together, and that story was fantastic when James and I were trying to enjoy the culture and music and so on of Italy, and Hammond turned up in a Hellcat yeah. and was, you know, being... And it just all suited the Hammond. cars. It suited the cars, it suited us. Italy is a great place to film. We ate well, we drank well. Um, it was it was just a great thing to film. Mm -hmm. Namibia, okay. was, Namibia was surprisingly difficult, much more difficult than Whee! I thought it was going to be. Much colder yeah. than expected. And much colder, colder than I thought right. it was going to be. And the roads... We just had 700 miles or something, I think it was about 700 miles, on washboarded roads. And that, if you're Australians watching, they are just a killer. They kill cars. But it was, um, I think Italy, what was yours? Well, I, to be honest, the best bit for me was in the Namibian desert when I was left behind because I got stuck on the hill and then I was driving on my own through the sunset. And it is the most spectacular thing possibly I've ever done of anything, let alone driving in a car. It was just breathtaking. Those absolutely dunes are fantastic. huge in Namibia. It looked absolutely incredible, it's especially in 4K as it's well. You look at you these views. When you draw a desert then, as a kid, I also have to say, the opening, the opening oh, that was six over. minutes was also <laughs> fairly spectacular. That was incredible. Mm. Yeah, that was out of You know, it. funnily enough, I remember watching that and thinking that this game is actually about m music festivals that are themed around cars. Yeah. Set in Australia, and previously it's been set in, you know, northern Italy, south of France, etc. The, the intro to the Grand Tour, just made me immediately think of Forza Horizon. You've got that coming together of people, of yeah, cars, yeah, 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 of the yeah, planes yeah. flying across <clears> the top, and that sort of celebration. As a thing to make, it was amazing to see, you know, our team, our crew that we know very well, yeah. to see them working on something brand spankers and that exciting. And on that scale, yeah. it's just astonishing. Fantastic. Right. I'm really sorry. I've well, been told we time. need to good. move on to the next good, good, next good. challenge. Oh, no, and you were going to be sorry. brilliant. Sorry, James. Well, well, so, hold on. So, I'm going to have to come out of this. Have we ever done anything where I wasn't brilliant? I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, driving, so. talking, thinking, using tools. Shutting up. Dressing. <laughs> um, 
I mean, other than those, beyond that. No, I, most the of number the, of times in my life I've seen you whizzing past, out of control in something, mm. shouting, God, I'm brilliant at this as well. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely Well, one of the enormous. questions we had come in was, uh, who out of you is the best at video games? Well, um, since we don't know how good Hammond, maybe they are the best. Maybe it's a hidden talent they didn't know they had. Sleeper. All right, so I'm going to set this up. Uh, and there's another question here from Nero Maxim, which kind of leads on from what we were talking about, the show itself. Is there a, a particular location that you would still love to go to and shoot at? I mean, you've covered that some amazing places been. that you haven't been to the so moon. far yet. <clears throat> the moon. I'd like to do the, the reduced gravity driving. I think that would be fascinating. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, it's quite okay, the moon. Yeah, it's quite tricky. On Earth... <laughs> Not including the sea, because the Mariana Trench also springs to mind. Yeah, but, but it's impractical. It's impractical, because it would squash the car to yeah, the size yes, of a Brussels sprout. And you'd get really wet. You'd get wet. And then you'd be even, so you'd be like a pea. Yeah, be even like more like a pea. I'd be, I'd be like something you hang from the, the mirror. Exactly. So, in terms of... There's a place in Malaysia or Borneo. Or Malaysia. No, but there was... There. In, in flight magazines are great because they always just show you a picture of something. Oh. I remember thinking, God, I'd love to drive across that. I'm sure environmentalists can't drive across that, but of course you can. Man, sorry. It's okay. Right. Um, you miss. So that's yeah. somewhere you want to go. Okay. Yeah, somewhere I haven't been where I want to go. I mean, we've been to a hell of a lot of places, yeah. let's be honest. And were some of the places you went to, were they, were they, all, were they on that kind of list of I'd love to go there and Iceland drive? always. If, if people Iceland. haven't been to Iceland... It always delivers. It's always yeah. great. You do go to Iceland and go, no, don't be silly. Take in a lot of a, money. In such a small yeah. area yeah. Well, as well, you'll now. see so many... Actually, it's not as bad as it was, is it? But no, but it's... me um, driving if you're watching, this is me driving. <laughs> no, it's... Um, Iceland it. always gives good scenery. Um, Africa... Yeah. Large, well, large always... chunks of Africa are remarkable. Oh, yeah. gonna have a big crash into that Ferrari. That wasn't my fault. It, it wasn't. He definitely no, cut across. Who was driving? Thank you. Who was driving your car? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, if that was an insurance claim, I think the insurance company would back me up. Can I just ask? Are you just mm -hmm. taking us to the next location? Yes. So that seems to be the hardest bit of the game. I'm essentially Kamchatka. an Uber driver at the moment. I haven't been to the Kamchatka Peninsula, and I think I came on the way here. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> on your little orange 300 CC? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kamchatka Peninsula. But in... you, there's a man who doesn't play Risk. Um, it's Between the... Russia and Alaska. Exactly. Yes. That's exactly. That's Constantly exactly. What it is. Sorry. <laughs> no, Kamchatka <laughs> Peninsula. I think I think that's going to, would be fairly amazing. Where should we go? Someone saying there, celebrity guest you always wanted for your show but never got. Oh. Dead or alive, Steve McQueen springs to mind. Yeah, just, it sprung yeah, to my mind. Cool. There you go. Steve McQueen is the correct answer. Dead or alive is an appropriate way of asking <clears> you, considering celebrity brain crash. What do we do? Yeah, yeah, dead or dead. So, this is a showcase event, right? And this is, again, it reminds me of the things you do in the Grand Tour, in that it is what, a kind of, is that a kind of ridiculous... Like, like the the Golden Eye. Kind of, yeah. Are we in <clears throat> Australia? Here, you're in like... Australia, right? Oh, so you're going to be in there. this trophy truck here, right? I'm yeah. going to pick... Oh, it's a pickup truck. You're going to race... You two get the Datsun. I can't go on one of those power boats. Well, you're going to race against them. I'm good in power boats. So, have you pressed green? Now. So you're going to be racing oh. against those speedboats. And this is, so this is one of the, like, the showpiece events of the Forza Rising oh, Festival. Man. And they're always brilliant to play in the game because it's got something a bit mad well, they've got in a crazy car. Yeah. Well, they, they're pretty yeah, well, good I'm off driving, the line, but don't worry. There's no other word, a pickup truck. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's, it's, it says Hulikan on the front. You almost became blocked. Here is another good oh, question. Oh, you're in actually. the water. Actually, first of all, before... Well, this is just to be in the water. Yeah, well, Namibia, over there, over there. Namibia always... Oh, yeah, no, you need to stick on the blue. I think you're all right if you if you get a well, I know. I, 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 as you know, I'm a man who enjoys a boat. Yeah, and but you're I'm... in a car. Right, it's okay. It's mm. taking you back to the checkpoint. You're Why? fine. Right. Because go, you're go, in go. the car. Don't you worry. You can still make so up. Wrong. You can still I'm make going to. Don't you worry. So you need to stick between those green checkpoints. You were trying to get a question out there. I know. I know. Yeah, Namibia yeah. seemed like a really interesting choice to me. Was that you know was that something again you really wanted to do? The Namib Desert was mine. There's only so many places in the world you can go that are genuinely wild and properly remote. I mean, we're asked, do you really can? Well, what else are you going to do? Yeah, uh, I go, look, look this is that. me, this is me. Majestic. Turns out I'm good at that as well. Hitting bushes in a truck. Were there points where you regretted it, though? No. No, not in the oh, desert. Well, it was a bit chilly in the first morning. Yeah, yeah it genuinely. was extremely cold. We well, really thought it would be hot, though. We're not uh, strangers to death. Was it hot during the day, though? Yeah. No, 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 no not during no, no, the day. extremes? No, no, on the coast, it's absolutely freezing all the time. Right. But it's... we're no strangers to deserts, and oh. people have said it gets cold at night. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> it's all over the world. Don't be ridiculous. Next morning, I mean, just really. 
yeah. you needed to dress as if for a very wintry day here. It was disappointing down now where we're going. England is. You seem to be drawn, yeah. Jeremy, to, the start, to the water. Go on later on. Left, go left. It I'm looked going. incredibly extreme. Has, has your exoskeleton recovered, James? Because you were oh, getting a, a, your skeleton. Oh, oh my skeleton. Oh, because you were getting a hell of a shake. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Was the car that suffered mainly because right. it fell off and then eventually it showered me in petrol. One was of the cars was clearly a lot better than the other two, and it was. Mine. It was mine. <laughs> oh, mine. Well, the engine, it was parked near a V8 that gave you how much? To, oh, constant. Mine made the best noise. Well, well, when it was, at least it had a decent range, though. That was the best thing. No, it. I can't see. I just literally can't see a thing, single thing that was wrong with mine. Yeah, when looked, sounded, worked, when. No, not sounded. It had a V8 okay, it did, motor. It Where's it go? I don't know where it goes. This is my Keep problem. Keep going straight. You're fine. You want to go straight to the river? Here, that's that's, that's yeah. got to be wrong. Oh, that's good. Wow, that is it. Do I get points for style? Yes. Oh no, look, you don't stick to the river. I can see now. Look, you get out on the other side. Look up there. You see the ah. dotted blue line with arrows on it? Yes, I can see it now. Where are the buggies now? Are they OK? They're back in England. Yeah, yeah they're in storage yeah. in the bar. Oh, OK. I was a bit worried about them at the end of that. Come on, mine's Well, mine's got a totally seized engine. Nicest paintwork, I thought. They're the best. No. Well, you know, I think we should put it to the ch chat, actually. Mine's the best. He'd put his near a V8 and he'd done nothing to it. Mine was magnificent. I admired the elegance and the, the, the classicism of your beach body. Yeah, but it, it also had excellent, very pliant suspension, which is useful yeah, when you're yeah, running over up to it. All right, how are we getting on here? Have you seen the speedboats again? Yeah, you no, know, you've, I'm going to have an accident. I've just had right, an accident. That's a, I mean, that's a yeah. legitimate way to get around the corner. That's oh, really? How do you know whether the fences will steer you around <laughs> the corner or destroy your car? It depends how well, fast you, did, you hit you, them and what angle, angle you hit them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit like pool or snooker, you know? It's not in any way. There's a couple of good questions here. Forza Horizon again, because it's about music festivals, it's the soundtrack in this is incredible. Mm -hmm. Is music a big part for you guys when you're driving? And I've got a question yeah. here from no, we're, Frack we're the Rapper. Very different music yeah, in that just, well, yeah. yeah. So what kind of music do you Well, listen a lot to? of the time you can't have it on there because it completely completely corners the editors. If you yeah, 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 you can't go on it to it. But if, if, if there's a stretch where you're not filming, then you can, yeah. And sometimes if you've got distance to cover, and we've filmed and filmed and filmed. Unless something happens, we're just making this. <coughs> we've got seven hours. Of I was second out of two. Yeah. yeah. So we all listen to very different music. Okay. Yes. So really tell me do. your favourite. He sets off into the Rockosaurus Plains. I have the Plains of the Rockosaurus because I like. Well, I've got. I mean, I like nearly everything. Hammond likes bluegrass and he likes complicated jazz. I like quite bluesy stuff. You know, bluegrass, Kentucky yeah, I, I bluegrass. Do like it. He like does. It, yeah. He does. I was. Why were you in Australia when you were playing that really complicated jazz? It's not very complicated jazz. It's complicated, well, it's complicated jazz. to me. What was it? <laughs> but everyone just turned out with an instrument and then played it, <laughs> irrespective of what the other one was doing. Yeah. yeah. So there was complicated jazz, and then I just sit and listen to Genesis, really old folk, uh, old seventies stuff. Fine. Yeah. So uh, when we're watching the show, between those stretches of you talking to camera in, in the driver's seat of yeah. the car, you're we'll then banging on music. some music. Yeah, we'll sometimes some we've music. just got to cover miles. Yeah. We can't film, and we are filming the whole time. If anything happens, we'll use it. But sometimes we've just got to get from A to B and keep going. Those mini cams yeah. that are on in the car are on. All the time. All the time, 24 hours a day. They're on all the time. So if we're in the car, it, it's recording what's yeah. happening. Because you've seen somebody saying you weren't really in it when it came down the thing. Yes, I did yeah. see that. Yeah, well, it just, it just was. <laughs> so right. because they, they're on all I the time. I can send in my under. Pants. Yes, I can. <laughs> well, also, you'd have to question how somebody else got in it. Exactly. I mean, so you could see that there was in it at one Magic point. That means I must have got out yes. of it and put it. So why would you Pushed do that? Pushed it off a hill. Uh, what was, am I doing here? John, uh, you got a GTR. I think we're back in go GTR the, again. We're going to go to the next challenge, actually. Oh, OK. But just while we're still on that, the thing that occurs to me there is it's, it's got to be really difficult to pick your nose when you're driving. No, we just Not do really. it. No, yeah, you just go for it. And I'm afraid great wind. Pick yeah. your nose. Yeah. You just have to accept the fact that everything you say and yeah. do is all recorded sound-wise, even when you're out of the car. Yeah. Even when you're out of the car, okay. you'll be having a, a dump, you'll be on the lavatory, right. think, and then you suddenly think, this is being all recorded. being recorded. We have hard recorders, because of course the sound men, the, the microphones ordinarily send sound into the camera, but they need to belt and braces cover themselves, so we each wear a solid state sound People always say, why are you wearing those bum bags? Okay. They're full of sound recording equipment. And it is everything. And sometimes we'll be having a conversation and then we'll, all three of us will look at each other and go, oh, wait a minute, we shouldn't. Burn it! Go and have to say to the sound recorder, is that bit? Can yeah. you just lose yeah. that? When uh, we're discussing somebody else, for example. Yes. He's going to be able to earn a lot of money. He is. He, 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 he owns us. He actually I'm owns us. Sure, I'm sure he you does. trust them implicitly. No, no, but the cameras no. are on and the sound is on all, all the time. Yeah. The thing about picking your nose, though, I mean, anybody who, who has driven something like 
you know, the Nando Desert, or especially the dusty bits afterwards on the washboard road, if they're going to claim that you don't end up with a nose full of building material that needs to be removed, then they're lying. It's but you could actually build a house. You could build shelter yeah. for the night out of what's in your nose. Yeah. Right. And That's, glue it together anyway, with what's in your Enjoy your breakfast or dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't fancy picking my nose on that. On those oh, no, the roads, you know, you could that, speed yeah, right. You could end up with your finger right through your it? cerebral cortex. What are we and... doing? Right. So the next thing we're going to do is a rivals challenge. Okay. So these are uh, kind of they're usually point to point races against the time limit, um, and they're often themed around particular uh, moments or events or whatever. And the great thing now is that we've got a grand tour rivals event, like an official grand Good. tour rivals event, right? So we're going to give that a shot. It's Have you got here. to drive to it for 25 minutes? No, no. The nice thing about this is that we get straight in. I thought I was that quite rapid. No, you yeah. would do. It's yeah. just that, it's just that I noticed you've chosen an element of the game where you had to do quite a lot of hero. Yeah, yeah. the rally no, fight no, just, no, just Grand Jungle Coast Trail. So here we are, right? We're going to do this. I've got a couple of things I need to go the through first. Fighter. So this is being uh, created exclusively by the, the team. Could we at run over everyone from I'm a Celebrity because they're up on the Gold Coast, aren't they? It's Brisbane, isn't it? Get them. Get them. Kill them. I'll give that as feedback to the development team and we'll see what yeah. we can do. It's great Straight <laughs> through the jungle, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> Somebody eating a Blam! <laughs> Don't worry about dinner. <laughs> so this is a point-to-point. -point. You're going to be driving a rally fighter. Have you driven one of them before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, came I came to work. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this will be interesting, right? And you at home, can, if you've got Forza Horizon 3, you can take part in this right now. And the reason that you absolutely should do it is how. that you can win some amazing prizes, right? Yeah. Check this out, right? If you, you him. take part in this challenge, all you need to do is get on Forza Horizon 3 uh, and play the challenge through. You're in with a shot of winning this amazing Xbox Live and Amazon Original, the Grand Tour and Forza Horizon 3 sweepstakes competition grand prize. Snappy time. I didn't, I didn't read that really at all. Featuring. Yeah. Yeah. Check this out though, right? And you'll, you'll like this one because you know you're saying you don't have an Xbox One yet. A two terabyte Xbox One S plus a 55 inch 4K Ultra HD TV. I don't know what any of those things are, but, but they sound brilliant. brilliant. Well, trust me, yeah. the Grand Tour looks amazing a 55 on a 4K inch, TV. That's bigger than Hammond. It's a big old TV, isn't it? It is a bit. It is a bit. <laughs> but there's more. An Xbox One uh, Design Lab customized controller, right? So that's, that's one of these itself. controllers, but you can change the colors, you can make it look exactly how you want to, right? Uh, can you make and a racing wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and a racing wheel and a $100 Amazon gift card And as well. this table. Yeah. We'll chuck in the table. And this table. empty that's glass, yeah. all this can be yours if you just do whatever he said. James is left trainer. And there's and second prizes mm, as well. There's um, oh God, two. We've got more Amazon vouchers. Mentioned. There's custom controllers. There's a whole bunch of other stuff Some as well, other right? Stuff. If you're on mm. Xbox One, go to the Amazon part of the dashboard, click into there, you'll be able to find out more about the Grand Tour, you can find out more about the challenge. If you've got Forza Horizon 3, just dive into Rivals, go to the monthly Rivals events Rivals. and play it. Play it. With that out of the way, let's get started. I think we're all going to have a shot at this one, you know? What is it? What we so actually, it's right. a point to point, right? Yeah, so, so we're going to start off with a rally fighter. Yeah. What is a rally fighter? It's this Come like on, James, fires. you designed it. I remember you building yeah. it. It's yeah. snowing. It's a bit. It's actually a bit what, like the your um, no. the mashup of the uh, Land Rover and the MG. Oh. That you had is to it? So it's it's, I mean, visually, what, like the it's, I did it's like a somebody went like on that. Twitter this morning and said, "I'd like to buy and the excellent." <laughs> Probably get an <laughs> and the excellent. Yes, yeah, so the excellent is the name. <laughs> I'd like to buy an and the excellent. <laughs> so is this whatever this is going to snap in half right. after three or four minutes? Uh, uh, well, it depends how hard you drive. I think it's a little bit sturdier. Where is my excellent? That's a good question. No, we need to. As long as it's where it belongs, which is. No, it's been. You're not going well. You, why would you do that? It's all our money. Right. Okay. Let's oh, it's raining as well. I had to write help. it off as a as a loss. Right. What happens next? We're gonna we're gonna make this interesting for you, for you guys as well. Okay. You've reversed all the so controls. So there is a prize on offer here. <laughs> uh, it would be very There's funny if I won the 55 inch television, wouldn't it? I don't have a 55 inch television. No, no, but but I do. If I can what, offer a prize, I, I do have. An actual Xbox, Xbox One S. Oh, well, that's kind. Thing. Thanks very much. Well, well sorted that you may get your hands oh, on it in a minute. Who the, whoever wins the time. So whoever posts the fastest time out of you three, Ooh, I think no, I might have a nibble as well, but I don't think I'm eligible for this. Um, we'll, we'll take this home today. How See, about this that? Is it. This is what our lives have come down to. We're competing yeah. for, 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 for games. But there's probably that's more in this building. building. <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs> that is a prize. There's never more in this building. Prizes. I'm just going to steal and it. And oh, yeah. this includes Gears of War 4 as well, which is, a, is essentially like um, when you visited the Special Ops training. I actually modelled that on my life in Ross on White. 
Do you? Yeah, they modelled it on it. Didn't yeah. they? Yeah. So, they so there you go. Well, right? I did. So, so yeah. 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 with yeah. the see, sticks. I, see now. I, I, I couldn't tonight. see, but I can see. Tonight's like that. It's just like Putting up home! This. It's like that. But your house, just enormous sort of plasma. Happens occasionally. There's plasma leaking. He's always doing that. It drives me nuts. You had time to go to the village. So there you go. Is he called Pete? Yeah. In my mind, he is. He's called <laughs> Pete. JD. Pete, put your gun Please. away. JDs. Right, so with the stakes suitably raised, yeah. let's race. Okay. Who wants to go first? Not not me. Me. No, I said not me first, oh, actually. Oh, come you, on. actually, Clarkson. Oh, why is it me? Because you were you so have a first on the last one, and I made a Which is the accelerator again, the one on the left? Uh, the one on the right. Yeah, that, which on the right. Sorry, we're working out my right and left. No other way around. This can only go well. Right, right, you Jeremy, to play this one. Right, you're in, Jeremy. Are you okay with that? No, no, I'm not. You face the corner for this one. Go. Rubbish. Right, so you need to follow the blue line, okay? That's the other thing. What's the main thing? So the ghost is actually a rival that you're chasing against. So I think whoever is the rival, they probably saw their gamer tag on screen there if they're watching, so that might have been quite cool for them. Oh, right. It turns out. So yeah. is that somebody on? Is, are they playing that live? Well, oh, it doesn't have very good Three, steering. No. So it? that's remembered their best time on okay. this course, and it's you know it's put them in as a ghost right? there. It looks it's like a good start. It's a good start. It's See, really it does look like not very good steering. Land Rover, doesn't it? It's a. It does a bit. It looks like it's yeah, 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 the angle like the and GGT. Yeah, except yeah. it works. Mine work. What on about? Really. Water. This is a good start. Ooh, sign, sign, oh, tree. You've missed that, you've missed that checkpoint. That's all right. What do you mean checkpoint missed? Well, you right. missed a checkpoint. I've got a question for you coming in the chat as well. What? Is that just going to distract you or do you want to hear it? Go on, then what? Uh, so it's from GTP Cowboy. He wants a written answer. That's his real name. Does that help? <laughs> and he's asking Acura NSX or Audi R8? NSX. Ooh, I think I'd give it a Which R8? Which right? The V10 or the V10? V10. Oh, he, does, he hasn't gone into that level of detail. Special. I haven't driven, to be honest, I haven't yet driven the Honda. Right. I know you call it an Acura, but the Honda MSX, I, well, I haven't yet driven it, so don't know. But I have driven the, the new Audi R8. And I tell you what, it's not bad. It's like that, you know, RS7 I'm driving at the moment. Yep. Mm. That's not bad either. Ugly. It's really ugly. But it's not it appears to be massive as well. Every it's time also, do you know, see how much it is? No. It's, that one's nigh on 100 grand. Well, I can, I've got that C63 AMG. And you know how I always, I've never liked an AMG. Mm -hmm. I think I'm right, I like I can like them now because you haven't got one. <laughs> but it's, I oh can't, it's it prowls, it's got presence. James, you drove the, the new NSX yes, in I today's did. show, I actually. It. Yeah. yeah, indeed. Yeah. So a big fan of it. Yeah, I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's but really, really nice. It's really easy to drive, but it's exciting, it's fizzy. It does feel futuristic. It does feel it? very, yeah, enlightened is the word I use. Oh, I just went through the checkpoint. Yeah. Well, that's what no, you're no, supposed to do. Again, all right. So what is well, it, if you go to the checkpoint, what happens? Is it... No, you, so you skid Press past. yellow again, you can go back a bit further. If you, if you miss oh, the checkpoint, that's just unlucky, isn't it? That really is. Maybe go past a bit, bit, bit further so back as well. you have to go well. between the flags at the checkpoint? Yes. Oh, I see. Right, now go. Press green. Right. Green and go. Whilst in full drift there you and go. waving out the window, I presume. Right. See, if you yeah. miss this, if you just skip round the outside of the checkpoints, you, it counts as you haven't gone through, which I that's think is technically... It's cruel. Is also technically cool. correct. Yeah, it's technically correct. <laughs> you can't argue with it. See, I've just oh, done it again. You're okay, you're okay, you got, you got it back. Got it. That counts. <laughs> you both seemed a little bit unsure about the NSX on the show today. Was that, was that more about just, no, you just know, James. undermining James? It's just undermining James. Okay. I mean, it, it, if you <laughs> notice the Fiat 124 that Hammond drove, we were up, James and I were unsure about it. And then yeah. what did I drive? The M2, didn't I? Yeah. And these two were unsure about that. <laughs> it's just we can't. It's just too easy to just. If one dislikes something, then we have to dislike it. Fair enough. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to have to do oh. this thing. So 244. You lose. You lose. 244.665. Right, so James, if you press the blue button. I don't think I'm going to be going home with a box. Yep. Well, I don't know. It depends. I think that's a good good place to start. Hopefully someone on the production team has recorded that time. Um, right, oh, one other thing I need to chuck in just now is that we're going to take a plane to Blizzard Mountain soon as well. Now, Blizzard Mountain's... I think it's ostensibly still set in Australia, but it's it's a snowy mountain, right? So I don't know which part of Australia that yeah, is. Yeah, the words blizzard and mountain yeah. were pretty self-explanatory. Right, snow fine. So, yeah, no, sure. But it just confuses me that it's in Australia as well, but let's, let's cross over that. So, it, please vote yeah. now in the Twitch oh. and Beam chat oh, for who you'd like to see go. driving first on Stop. Blizzard Mountain, and we'll, we'll jump over there in a few minutes' time. Right, so I've got a question here from ZeroCab30, and he says, Hello, the GT guys. 
Have you, got a, hello. <laughs> have you gotten a chance to check out the new Civic Type R? Yes, yes. extensively. He, he has a, well, when James you say is our one, under correspondent, actually, is it? James? When you say, when you well, say the no, new No, James, you're going to have to rewind. Why? Because you missed that checkpoint. No, you hit the flag, that's it. No, you missed and that, that one. Uh, that one you missed that one. Is that a checkpoint? You might have just clipped it. So you think you're OK if the game doesn't tell you you're right. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, here we go. Well, I don't make it, Jeremy. On their way. <laughs> you are the leader of your Horizon group. <laughs> uh, yeah, what were you saying oh, yeah, about the Honda? Awesome, full extent uh, of your Horizon group. Civic Type R. I assume he means the, the he brand really new. He really likes it. New. I felt like an idiot in it, I'll be honest. Okay. I think for the right buyer, if you were in your 20s, you could possibly afford on an insurable. Mm. Great. But if you're in your 40s, I felt like a bit of a muppet driving around. OK. And it's got a lot of things to it. And anyway, it's been replaced now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Type is one it, it lasted, Here it is, and now it's, and it's, now it's gone. gone. I, I yeah. crashed, but I crashed going through the checkpoint. I've just so remembered that I have driven one. The new Type R? Yeah, you have. You had the one that we had in the blue one, didn't yeah. you? Or red, was yours oh, red? I have driven one. It oh, had very it? deep bucket seats. It did? Yeah. It does, yeah. I got lost in one. I'll hit the James, checkpoint. James, you haven't missed a single checkpoint. Well, no, because I was doing that, and it kept saying go back. It was really annoying. It was against you. All right, I'm going to keep that theme going of, of asking you to, to face off about cars, because I know you like an argument about cars, right? So, yeah. so what I've done is I've like pulled a list. About everything, to about everything. I've, I've pulled a list of cars that are featured in the Grand Tour yep. and also feature in Forza Horizon 3. Yep. Uh, and I thought we could just read them out. It's kind of a, a car showdown, head to head. Mm -hmm. yep. So I thought I'd read out each matchup, it's 1v1, and uh, get your opinions on which one you think is the, is the better car. Okay. okay? Yeah. So we're going to start off with from the first episode of the Grand Tour, the McLaren P1 versus the Ferrari LaFerrari. Well, you know what we're going to say. You already know the answers <laughs> to this one. It's the Ferrari. Oh, actually, between those two... Well, the McLaren or the Ferrari? It's the McLaren. Yeah, I think so I'd probably go, I might go McLaren. Yeah. No, I hate it because I'm a grip. But I've got, I either agree with him or with him. So Neither. I'd walk. <laughs> No, the McLaren is just nuts. It is an edgy thing. Yeah. It's, it's really it's tricky. Stupid. It's surprisingly, for a car, it's surprising. It, I mean, you, you just think they put all that horsepower on it and they haven't really tethered the front. It's like playing with a chainsaw in a wardrobe. Yes. Right. Terrifying, but when you step out of the wardrobe having completed it, you oh, see what I did there. <laughs> it is it's, fantastic. It's bizarre. It's, it's, the front, it has very little grip at the front when you really get going. And it took me a few days to get to the point when you could tell. But the front goes, and then, well, you're so busy taming the front, then the back starts going And what did nuts. you do when you completely, you left the, that I missed thing, the, the, the wing? Yeah, that was an oh, amazing, you, you genuine will. moment and of then, sheer it, terror. It was it was on camera, and just before, yeah. You can always tell on camera when it's, this is not put on for It's because right, 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 right. I put the, I put the <laughs> rear wing down. Yeah. So that it doesn't, it would come That's up it, automatically when you get to, I forget what speed exactly. The rear wing would come up automatically. I bolted, but not bolted, it electronically down. bolted it down. That yeah. Which meant, oh, the DRS, that's right, I was holding the DRS, yeah. which kept it open. Which meant when I got to the end of the straight, it just no had, it, the back was just, <laughs> was helium light. Right. So as I was braking, now James is braking in the Ferrari here, and the Ferrari's, let's be honest, not very good rear visibility, so he would not have known the problems I was having. And I thought, if he doesn't, if I, could, I want to go around the corner, because mm -hmm. I can't slow down. I lost But as well. I can't go because, I can't because James is there. Yeah. And I really did think this is going out of control. Because if, if you practice your there. face for that, if you think, right, I'm going to make a TV show now about cars, and if you're yeah. playing the games, if you're playing on here, and you think, right, I'm going to lose it, and you're going to go, oh no, this is what you don't. You Wait. go, <laughs> you just put <laughs> stupid faces yeah. and look scared. <laughs> It's, a, it's the noise as well, from, right? There's a there's a yeah. marvelous bit from the olden days of Richard Hammond at Monza <laughs> in the Pagani um, Hawaii, and yeah, he's he is rabbiting away about it, going down the main straight, first. and then just stops yeah, talking. Not to collect your time. And there's just nothing. He's if just restart, we'll a blank face. Well, someone's written it down. And I knew he'd overdone it before the corner. Okay. In the and face the just fell. Yeah. And you don't pull an heroic face. You don't scream or look panic stricken. You just. No, you didn't. Face. Put, your face simply stopped moving yeah. about. Scared, it was horrible. just a man thinking, "I'm going in that wall in a minute." Is it difficult to to drive and talk in the way that no. you do? No, we you, so I mean, was it was it ever no, difficult? No, I mean, no, what is it right now? Sorry, what? it's not as difficult as this. Right? Yeah. What, 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 I genuinely find it difficult to do this. What's to really surprisingly difficult, actually, is doing? when I get into the car, either when I'm by myself, or even more embarrassing, when I'm with someone and find myself doing it on your own, as though I'm driving. Yeah, because I, I don't find it difficult at all. So apparently, some people do.
How's it going, folks? I am Graham Boyd, Xbox Live's AC Bongos, and welcome to a very, very special Xbox Live game with fame. We're going to be playing Forza Horizon 3 today, which, of course, as you know, is a game about having fun in amazing cars in beautiful surroundings with your friends. So who better to join us than the team from the Grand Tour? Yeah, I'm oh, delighted to see. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know where I'm looking, but there. Yeah. Oh, there. all over and the there. place. We're on the internet. It doesn't exactly. matter. So, of course, we've got Jeremy Clarkson, we've got James May, and we've got Richard Hammond <laughs> Who's with in us the in the studio. Yeah, I wasn't uh, concentrating. I wanted, no, that's to, fine. I wanted to have a look, look in I here. Look, I keep telling you, Forza Horizon 3, you can go yeah, wherever you want I've, to go. I wanted to go there. Look, I you're still that. racking up points. I meant that. I meant <laughs> that. That's what I wanted to do Richard, now. Richard, I thought you, you'd had practice at this in Los Angeles. Mm, can I, I just say, first of all, right, yes. I'm, I'm impressed that you three have already had a go of this in the last sort of 45 minutes before we came on stream. I was a bit worried that... <laughs> That wasn't good timing for what I'm about to say. <laughs> no, it was perfect. <laughs> it was absolutely... <laughs> I was, you were just about to say how good we are, but Richard Hammond drove Moving our really on, rather good mission oh, <laughs> into a tree. No, I think, um, I think we'll have some good gameplay here. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to go through a lot of challenges. We've got bucket list challenges. We've got arrivals mode specifically for the Grand Tour that you'll be able to play yourself. Have I won? Uh, you are winning. I'm just, I'm just noodling about it. Yeah, it's get, on the road. There's the a road there. I mean, yeah, no, slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm off it. Off it. No, I'm good. back on you it. Saved it. Look now, at that. There you are. There you go. Right. Now, enjoy, oh, now you're oh. off the road. Hang on. Ooh. Ooh. No, turn right here. Turn right here. Turn right here. Turn right here. There you go. It's an amazing sat now. Right, let me just get a couple of things in first. Okay, so obviously we're playing Forza Horizon 3. As you can see, Richard's in the driving seat first. And we're going to get Richard going on a on a bucket list challenge soon in a Mazda MX-5, which I know is a car very close to your, your own is. heart. Yes. Yeah, and also close to some statues, often as well. Um, we are going to go through the Grand Tour Rivals event, which is live on Xbox Live now. If you've got Forza Horizon 3, you'll be able to go in there and take part. Uh, and if you're watching on Beam on tw and Twitch, Thank you very much for joining us, first of all. You can also send in your comments and your questions to the team here. James we'll read them out looks ridiculous. Sorry, James <laughs> has just <laughs> reversed faster than I've ever seen him go anywhere. Oh, which is, where's the break? I've oh, seen James right. play right. computer game. You want to look there, but yeah. then you look here. Yeah. <laughs> also, why have you grown exactly the same beard as Hammond? Because I admire him so much. Yeah, I don't And you drive him. exactly the same motorcycles? No. No, no. You do. You both, you're an orange one, and you, they're, they're the same, those little they're Vespers. Just, Oh, yeah. No, they're not the no, same. No, mine's a well, 300, his is a 125. Well, oh. they're the same. No, I don't. They're yeah. motorcycles. You both drive motorcycles. Well, you were supposed to go left there. No. Don't worry about it. I cars, decided he was. All damage is cosmetic. We're all good. Just watch out for trains, because that can often end badly. Yep. Um, you're not in any um, club. The little beardy club. Oh, and there's one fact. other thing as well. Sorry. Oh, if, you're, if you uh, are on Xbox Live, you can send a friend request to the Game With Fame uh, gamer tag, and you might actually turn up in the game as well. You're playing with us or as a driver tar. You guys know all about that. So when you send a friend request, yeah. it's not like a friend arrives at your door. Yeah, right? they knock on the door Ooh, there. Hello. There's a queue outside already. Friend. Okay. Yeah, it's a good way of making friends. It's well, they've done well to yet. find it because it took me plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, it's Great. a tricky one. So Bang! James May's crashed into the back of a Mazda 3. Yep. You, yeah, where it was, where you'd been pressing brakes until you had the accident, Family then he claimed you didn't nice know where the brakes were. They, they were just going out for a picnic. And he was yeah. going along, brake, 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 had an accident. Oh, where are the brakes? Right, we should start here. Now. Before we get into the bucket list challenge, oh. I do want to quiz you on your, your gaming credentials, first of all. Yeah. Very yeah. bad. And I actually yep. see we've had our first question in from Twitch. It's from MythMath. Hello, you guys know. Uh, so, do you play video games no. yourselves? Is that a big part of your life? You do. I do. I play, you do. You, you kill things. What do you play, things. James? Come on, let's hear some. I only, I Snakes play, and ladders. Yes, yeah, Scrabble, draft. Boggle, Draft, <laughs> and Whitley. Come on, James, I'd love to hear. Well, are you going to let me speak or are you just going to tell me? I play Beep. Sky Gambler's Beep. Air Compact, Beep. is when I play a Beep. bit. Beep. I don't know what that is. Beep. Sky Gambler's, it's an Beep. internet. Beep. No, I have video games, game. not downloaded little app things. No, it's not. It's a video game on the net that you play against other people from around the world. Do you play that, really? Yeah. Do you? I do, yeah. What's your, what's your <laughs> game name? Him around the what's world? your game name? James. Fluffy. Yeah. It's yeah. Fluffy. It's was fluffy, James not it? taken already? Yeah. Well, it's James. Yeah, of course he yeah. was. He hasn't. Yeah. He's never played a video game in his life, as we can see here. I don't know. That was a no, I, do, I do quite like. I do quite like video games. I've got all the Call of Duty ones, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, what the, is that about the other that ones? You like killing people. Unadulterated <laughs> violence, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, I do like choosing my weapons. I always go for the largest possible Hammer. machine gun. Yeah. Well, no, because you can always, some people go for those very fast firing, oh. you know, the fast firing thing. No, 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 no. Get the big squad automatic Boy weapons him. and run around in right. 
And I, I mean, I've, motor racing games, obviously, I've got the other one. Not the one, you know the one I mean. Well, um, yeah, yet. Grand Turismo. So That's I a team job. Which way do I go? I actually once did a thing on the old show oh, when I, I did a tie, set a time up at Laguna Seca. All right. And then went and did it yes. for real in the same car on the actual track. Remember. And that would be a useful anecdote if I could remember where I was faster. I can't remember how it worked either. I no, can't remember I whether I was faster in the real car or faster around the track. I think I was faster in the real car. Right, Somebody okay. can probably say, no, you weren't. I remember seeing that. But I think I was faster in the actual NS... Uh, I think it was an NSX. OK. Video games for me are a bit like football. I didn't follow them as a kid. I didn't do it as a kid, so I sort of got left behind. We didn't behind. have them as and a kid. Now, well, then we did. What, video games? Doop, doop, yeah, there was that, yeah. Yes, you won't remember that, but there was, that was tennis. Hey, that's very kind of you to say. Uh, I think you were addressing me. I right? No, I was the audience. Oh, <laughs> fine. You don't remember? I know, you suckered me in there. Yeah, you had hair. I do. Well, I, <laughs> well, I used to have a really I, good... I never did, so I... I, 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 I had a like really I good video game, which you were in a jet fighter, actually flying quite high, which has made it quite good, and you could swoop down and bomb things on the ground. I can't remember what that one was called. It was a single-player game. That was the only drawback There was to a Star it. Wars okay. one years on the media computer where you went... And the oh, Bond right, ones. Yeah. You remember oh. the early Bond ones? He used to yeah. love those from EA. Golden Eye, yeah. things like that? Yeah, they oh, were that fantastic. Way but tell me about driving games. I mean, it, obviously, you know all about cars no, but what's and all incredible, about driving. What's incredible about these driving games is just before everybody tuned in, we had 10 minutes practice in a Lamborghini. And I said, no, no, forget it. These two contrary to James's claims that he does, they don't do this. I said, it, it I does make... this now. I'm not It does make be. a huge difference. Yeah. No, you, you, I, really, I can feel straight away. You can, yeah, yeah, there yeah. is a huge that difference between... Because the temptation is always to go for, you know, the most exciting and fastest supercar. But actually, if you want to learn the game, you've got to start... That's why we started off in a GTR, because... It's like real life. Least, what you really yeah. want is a hot hatch, isn't it? it yeah, you should start off with a hot hatch. And what's unbelievable... I remember driving a Dodge Viper in a, in a video game. It felt just like a Dodge Viper. Oh, Unmanageable. was a lot easier. The unmanageable, yes. difficult, tail-happy. Yep. It's remarkable how they do actually get... Why did he do that? ...some of the characteristics um, from real cars that show through on this, because we're one of the very only three people in the world who don't live in the Middle East, who have actually driven most of the cars that you'll encounter mm. on this. And you can actually genuinely yeah. feel the difference, and they are genuinely, they do handle like the the cars that, uh, for real. Yeah, there are so characteristics that are recognised. Uh, no, Let me a... set up, uh, I want to get going on this bucket list, if you don't mind, Jeremy. I want to yeah. get... And we can set the... Jeremy gets um, his look on his face with his face. See, we were laughing at James, uh, and there's a bit of orangutan action there. There's his look of absolute <laughs> contentedness. I know, he so certainly hasn't given me the controller, so... No, he so. won't. You're not fighting, <laughs> you're not <laughs> fighting for it. You're this, is, this is a man on a mission. But I did find it interesting that we started off, before we started the stream, we, were, we had a Centenario set up, right? And the reason we went with the Lamborghini Centenario is the cover car of Forza Rising yep. 3, OK? And it's obviously incredible. It's quite a device, yeah. But you guys suggested the 2017 Nissan GTR. Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's a it's a incredibly fast car, it's but it's fit. also easy to drive, right? Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's going to so be it's gonna be less tail happy and screwy. Yes. And you're clearly feeling the difference <clears throat> in the game, right? Yeah, and that's why he's hit that I'll post. Just hit that yeah. post. And well, then set up your bucket list. Right. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> so, Whatever a bucket list is. Well, the bucket list challenges in Forza Horizon Three are essentially the things you want <clears throat> to do in cars before what you do we die, right? Well, I'll, you oh, set it up, and I'll read the next question from. Can't read the hook one oh, yeah. fifty three. What do you think is the greatest car ever produced? We we are we we disagree on that. I think it's the Lexus LFA. Greatest car ever. <laughs> I keep changing my mind about that. Sometimes it's Ferrari four five eight. Sometimes it's that GTR actually. I have moments with that Lamborghini Sesto Elemento that I drove. That was superb. And at, at the time when the first Zonda came out, but then yeah, that was these, these things only have a context, don't yeah, they? Yeah, no. But like, the LFA, I still think if I got into one tomorrow, I'd still think. Not because it was the best car, because it, it had a very small fuel tank and the seatbelt's impossible to put on. But the engine was simply unbelievable. Good car to follow, makes an amazing noise. Why are you playing the game now? What, so we just come here to well, sit in to your be sitting honest, room and watch thought, you play this game? Yeah, I should have given this back to you. I thought I would do a good job of getting us to the venue yeah, quickly, but I ended up driving behind everyone's back garden. Yeah, so you're the expert. Tree, worrying. car, said, barrier. I've got it now, I've got it now. I'm right. Would you like me to get you there? <laughs> oh, he's on it. He's on the fire. Look at this. Uh, this is me. If you're good. watching and you can see on screen what's happening, it's me. You can't see the controller. I'm happening. doing this. We were talking about yeah. video games there, yeah, right? It's me. I'll just get around this hole. What were you saying? Let's just, just say that you were going to create it. a Grand Tour video game. Mm -hmm. What would that look like? I thought it would have a lot of amazing mm -hmm. scenery in it. Uh, that's true. That's uh, very yeah. true. It wouldn't Good always boy. work. <laughs> yeah, it's important. Um, Here we are. How does... You'd also be able to get a book delivered the next day on it. <laughs> nice. Um, I, I, I have no idea because, I mean, 
You'd have to get people who could set those things up. Um, Would you go for a driving game? Yeah, because yeah. you've done a lot of different things for the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, what I no, can't... No, No. <laughs> well, why not? With guns on the side. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's a bit like, what were those ones I really, really used to enjoy with Yoshi and the dragon when you could shoot uh, toadstools yeah. at people and they yes. spun around? Super Mario. Mario. Super Mario. Yeah. They were fantastically yeah, they were good. good fun. Yeah. And they often, mm. you know, can't actually hang the tail of a car out and then just keep talking. But talking is something we all do, well, particularly me, just do all the time anyway, so... Doesn't make any difference to you. Fair. Can I? Am I allowed to make a constructive comment about this game? Of course. No, yeah. I, we are here to promote as it. As long as it's constructive, it's, it's very good. It's extremely clever. Can you change the sort of proportionality of the steering knob? Because I find it a bit yes. non-linear. Uh, the proportionality is non-linear. James May has joined the world of gaming with his proportionality. <laughs> oh, he missed, he missed. I'm Rewind. going the long way around to get back. There is a wealth of customization options in here, and you can tune your car any way you want to. Yeah. I mean, you can actually switch I'm getting, out the I'm components of the car. You can put in a How do much I go bigger back to get that checkpoint sort of team? So if you really want to get me? deep into it, because I'm lost in the woods. Sorry, if you wouldn't mind. Multitasking. There it is. There it is. Less, less. Easy on that throttle. Or is it? Just feed it. Because it's annoying because James messed that exact one as well, but it didn't. So yeah, you had to go back. It's a computer. It doesn't have moods. Think no, but, uh, but it was a weird... I wonder if there's some that you don't... that it allows you to miss. That would be what somebody else Do you think people you can watch will be able to tell I'm okay. not very good at this? The flag. Yes, they will. No, they're fine. I, I think you're, sort of... you're in a good position here at the moment, Jeremy, I, I think. Of... Right. Uh, OK, let's go to our next car showdown, right? So I've got uh, a Mazda MX-5, which you've already yeah. seen on the stream today, versus an Alfa Romeo 4C Spyro. MX-5, oh, come on. it? MX the four C is absolutely ridiculous. horrifically bad. <laughs> however, however, it's so pretty and so want one -y. I don't. I don't like the front of it. I think it's got a great profile, but they so messed up his face, like Alfa Romeo have done for about the last fifteen years. I they think can't they do, do the front of a car. They should do a V6 one. Stop messing about with all that ultra lightness. A V6 one with like an old Ferrari Daytona interior with those little rivets in the seats, and that would be superb. Well, if I may be so bold, the first thing I'd do is give it some power steering. Oh, yeah. That's number one. <laughs> yeah. First number thing I'd do is give it to Toyota to make, actually. Yeah, no, no, there's nothing wrong with them. I'd do power steering followed by a bigger fuel tank followed by um, more power steering. <laughs> because at the moment it just darts left and right for no reason. And then it really is hard to, hard to park. Oof. So, I mean, obviously, obviously, if you're actually going to buy one, you're going to buy the Master. If, on the other hand, you actually just want to go through Rome for the day, you take the Alfa Romeo. Oh. You just want to borrow one for a yeah. couple of I days. I love the it? simplicity of the MX-5. I think it's a, a magnificent car. Really it's really right. simple. Fine, so that's... Uh, I, think, <coughs> uh, I think we'll call that one a draw. OK. Think, right? Uh, I've got oh, a question here one, about... So uh, I'm yeah. not very... <laughs> I mean, I'm really not... Do we very like good. the Mark II Jetta 16 valve? What? GTA. Yeah, that's an interesting This one, is the man here from a the Jetta. 1980s. Do you guys like the Mark II Jetta How are you, did he, did he yes. post? Did he post I, it? It was very good. That was did a very he, early internet experiment that's got through. It is that In other Jack, words... You know how when I... Think so who's this? Breast 2240 has got the Mark II yeah. Jetta 16 valve. Good car. It was an excellent car. It was an excellent car. I'm quite envious. Better than the current Jetta by a very considerable margin. And then we've got another one here from Rodzinski123. Rodzinski He's curious about what James thinks about the new Rolls-Royce black badge. Oh, we've got black badge. Yeah. They're doing all those black ones. Black, Come black on, black James. Thing. You're the Rolls-Royce expert here. What's the black badge? They're doing black versions of mine. Well, guess what colour they are? <laughs> Oh, see, I thought you meant the badge was black. It I is. Don't, yes, but it's a black badge now, version. Those are the yeah. sort of stealth and Where did performance ones. My time um, wasn't, the, wasn't the lowest number. It was the height. That's, yeah? Well, I thought that was the idea. <laughs> a time I trial, I've got more time. Yeah. I've got more time on So the trial to find more time. More time. I've got you more enjoyed time the board. game for longer to than we did. We, we didn't Wins. specify that before well, the May's challenge won started. That one. But, uh, no, won, yeah, because you hit all the checkpoints. No, I think you've, no, I think you've, hit, you've won that significantly. No, you won that. You went through all the checkpoints. I kept having to reverse. Here we go, here we go. I've got the official time. times here. So, Jeremy, you were at 2.44.665. James at 3.28.242. Oh, sure, was a minute full. And bringing up the rear, Richard, 3.32. I don't want to win this stupid game, anyway. 
Good, excellent. <laughs> 45 seconds. That is my... There was, there was a couple of rewinds birthday. from Jason. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. No shopping for me. If you're watching, he bought it. All right, he isn't so watching. I know exactly where he is. Do you want to hold on to this? Or? Yes, exactly. Congratulations. Isaac, I know you're not watching. I know where you are, but that's what you're getting for your birthday in March. Job done. Sorted. How old is he? Because that's an 18 game. So we just need to... Yes, I know he's 18. Beautiful. That's perfect timing. <laughs> All right, let's grab this back. Right. Yeah, uh, I'm back. gonna I'm gonna get us to Blizzard Mountain, but in the meantime, I'm gonna give you the next car showdown. So it's a Vulcan. Mm -hmm. Versus this is a bit of a weird oh, matchup, right? right? Aston right. Martin Vulcan. No, they are. Versus a 2017 Ford GT. How about that? Ooh. Oh, Ooh. So the, the GT well, to be yeah. brutally honest, you'd have to be the. I mean, the Vulcan. Oh, the new GT. Yeah, the new GT, but you can't. They're you not can't compare. Actually, them. The well, Vulcan you can't no, use right. on the road so, or a track. I mean, it was an amazing you. thing. And it, it, yes, but it was, as I said, it's a celebration of the past. It's a celebration of what cars used to be like. This was what we used to make. But you wouldn't want to drive around it. No, well, you couldn't. It's like a monument. And it mm. is. It's a mon it's a statue to what we've done these past hundred years. And the GT again. Well, nobody's driven one yet, that, no. apart from Ford test drivers. Is I mean, that, the V6 is what's interesting to me. One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the V6. To put it as V6 is a, is a, is a brave call, call from their marketing department to go, yes, we'll give it a V6. Because mm. it's probably the right thing to do. But it better be good. It, it better, better be, be good. really good. Your good old boys are going to say it's too short, aren't they? Yeah. So that's they're all they're going to say. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do, you, do you feel like, I know, James, you did a, a piece on the, the Ford GT40 and the, the birth of the Ford GT. Mm. Do you feel the new GT like lives up to that heritage and that legacy? Well, I, I, to be honest, I think the heritage thing, especially with that new one, is a bit of a red herring there, because it is built as a racing car, isn't it? It's yeah, a homologated it racing car, in essence, and it's completely modern. But I know they love the idea of buying into all the glory, as indeed Aston Martin does, and then Bentley does a case. You're talking about chaps with blazers and... Well, every single car thing, company does it. It's not... It's not really James, true. Yes. You look like an historian being interviewed on television. Well, yeah. I was being one then, actually, just well, very briefly. No, but all car companies do it. I mean, every, no, not just car companies, every single well, company in the think? world yeah, does well, yeah. it. Yeah, branded, I mean, Otherwise, we'd have new companies starting. Well, so I was thinking the other day about Mustang. They're, they're going to be hybrid, they're talking about. A Mustang yeah, no, exactly. And F 150. You need pick. heritage. Hybrid. You need heritage, otherwise, it all becomes too confusing. BMWs have to have the Hofmeister kink or whatever, not Hofmeister, that's a beer. It is a beer. Hoffman, you know, what's it called? That kink in the C pillar, they have to have it. You've made me think of Hofmeister. It isn't Hofmeister, but it's something like that. Somebody can tell us. Anyway, the seat, all BMWs have that kink. It doesn't matter whether it's an i3, it doesn't matter what it is, they have that kink. It's heritage, it's just... It's a styling cube. It's a styling cube. And all cars, I mean, this is where I think Jaguar's gone a bit wrong, is they've just completely detached themselves from their past, and it's a mistake. Because that was a valuable thing. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put snow tires on your uh, on the GTR here. I'd rather go slicks. I'm going in slicks, okay? Look how good that car looks. Well, in let's put the snow tires on. It just never looks no, it, it doesn't look good. good. It does. That shape no. towards the back it's is not fabulous. A good looking car. It is. No, no it isn't a good looking car. It is. It's, it's, it's a good car. It's, it's a, a good very good car. car. It's an outrageously good car. But not a good looking car. Why? Why have none of the three of us ever owned a GTR? I don't know. I don't know. I've been very tempted. I was. I've been seriously tempted. Super Impreza. Yeah, I've been very tempted by. No, I've never been tempted, tempted, tempted by. Right. No, those things do. They do. Some, I do, do sometimes look at them. Some, you occasionally see one and think, Why have I not bought one of those? But well, they are extraordinarily good. Aren't they? they are really they good. good. And extraordinarily good value. As well. And what really? I really like is I have a, a friend who's a girl who has no interest in cars at all. I mean, just literally none. And I picked her up in one of them, and every single car I've ever given her a lift anywhere in, she will always go, This is disgusting. What is this? Disgusting. Everything is always disgusting yeah. if it isn't a broken old Subaru. And she got it, never commented on it. Which means? Which means it isn't disgusting. Which is like GTR. Yeah. She, it was just, as far as she was concerned, it was just an car. I'm going to be brilliant at this. Mm. Right, here we are. So we, so honestly, it's suddenly I realised... You, you feel at home gonna, now, right? That was going to be brilliant. So we're on Blizzard Mountain. Now, yeah. actually, the results of the poll are in. Uh, and 41% of our viewers uh, have decided that Jeremy is going to be first to drive on, on the 32% went for so, Richard, even though he was the slowest. James, you've only got 27%. So I think what we're going to do here... Oh, that's the order we're going. Good. Well, Jeremy, you have to go first. with what the you... people want. They also said, Jeremy, would you drive it whilst facing the other way? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, what, it it says, Luke. what does it say? Put bucket on head. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. bucket lift. <laughs> <laughs> Because James right, and I are trying to read that is when pigs oh, that's not, that's you. not much better either, I know. Right, yeah. I'm going to try and queue up this bucket list. This, is, all, this is part of video yeah. gaming. 
when you go around to a friend's house, they say, oh, I've got a new game. What you actually then do is spend an hour <laughs> while they do Fiddle this. Yes. Yes. And there's a lot of... Well, I play with my son while he's so, choosing oh, what guns he wants and what yeah. features he wants on the guns. He call him, will you just... It doesn't make any difference. What are you doing? I'm trying to find out where this bucket list challenge is. Oh. Talk amongst yourselves, Jen. Right, it's middle left near the forest. OK. Near the forest. You could have carried, you didn't have to read that out, you could have just carried that out. That was an instruction. I you know, could have just said, I, I think I'm about the middle left. Bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> that was bucket list. <laughs> we'll go, yeah, you know. Yeah, we'll go one. for that one. Bucket yeah. list blueprint. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll try it. You, you did, a, you did an anchor man then, you read yeah. out exactly what was on the screen. <laughs> Listen, I'm getting some really specific <laughs> instructions here. Hold on, let me give you yeah. another card. Stop reading what's on the screen. Oh, they did that to me once and it worked. Yeah, of course it does. I was doing a show last time, a kid's show, and at the end, I'm on, because I had to have prompt so much words. On the end, they put a question mark after my name, and I did go. I'm Richard Hammond. Oh, and you've done it. And it worked. What, you just... I did a full Ron Burgundy anchor man, read exactly what was on the autopilot. <laughs> I'm Richard uh, Hammond. Oh, I